Saskatchewan Championship Curling is brought to you by Viterra, SaskTel, Saskatoon Auto Connection, Singler Real Estate, Coldwell Banker Signature, Boston Pizza Restaurants of Saskatchewan, SaskTel Max TV, Curl Sask, and Real Cast Media. Well, the playoff picture is almost in full clarity in Tisdale, Saskatchewan, the town two hours northeast of Saskatoon, the home this week for the Viterra Scotties, and who will represent Saskatchewan at the Scotties Tournament of Hearts next month in Calgary. Well, this morning, a little more clarity. Amber Holland had a chance to advance into a tiebreaker in with Penny Barker in Pool A, but she fell to Stevenson 8-6. So Pool A, that's been decided, but a little more clarity needed in Pool B. You look at the final pool standings as we head in to the, or as we are joining you here in the weekend, a three-way log jam in Pool B for the second spot in the 14 playoff. Well, because of losses to both Michelle Inglot and Jessica Mitchell, Robin Silvernagel, our defending champion, is out. But a tiebreaker needed this afternoon. So it's Mitchell and Englot as you look at the playoff bracket and we head towards the playoffs. Yes, Nancy Martin, Skylar Ackerman, the top two teams will play off the page playoff of birth in Sunday's championship final on the line there. The winner of this afternoon's contest will take on Penny Barker in the semi. We're in the quarterfinal, I guess. The semi will be later on tomorrow. Michelle Englott out of the Highland Curling Club in Regina and Jana Mitchell out of the Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon. Both three and two, the winner moves on to the playoffs. Darren DuPont, Kim Hodson, Sean Joyce with you here for this afternoon's action. The only game on the ice here at the Recplex in Tisdale. Other side of the fourth of and for Michelle Lingla coming in after starting the round rob with two straight losses. She's won three in a row and on a bit of a roll here into the tiebreaker. Yeah, that's been uh, one of our keys to the game that we even mentioned last night already. They're getting comfortable with these positions and uh, yeah, three straight wins and looking to keep on going. One of those two losses though did come against Jessica Mitchell and by virtue of that, Jessica has uh, the choice of last rocker <laughs> or the color stones here in the opening end of play. And of course, they chose last rock. Throughout the week, they have to draw to the button, but I think I was talking to head official Kevin Glessing tonight in the page uh, A2, B2 game. That'll be the last coin toss to draw to the button because those two teams will have identical three and two round robin records. So Jessica Mitchell will have the hammer throwing the red stones here. To start, you That's mentioned the win in the three. round robin Today. game, the only game they yeah. played against each other. <laughs> Jessica Mitchell defeating Michelle Englot, 8-5. That was Thursday I'm afternoon. Down. Mitchell I'm scored two and five, time. stole three and six, and with Englot down 6-5 with the hammer and 10. She stole two in the 10th end. Let's meet the teams that are gonna play here today. Hi, I'm Michelle Inglot, skip of Teton Minglot, and I throw lead rocks. Throwing second is Ashley Williamson, throwing third is Sarah England, and throwing last is Stephanie Schmidt, and we curl out of the Highland Curling Club in Regina. Hi, I'm skip Jessica Mitchell. The so third is Jenna Hope. Second is Megan Frerix. Our lead is Michelle Johnson, and we curl out of the Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon. Underway with our lead stones here in the opening end. I have to admit, I just got a little chuckle there. Michelle, who, you know, has skipped all this time, never ripped. This is her first time playing lead. She was standing in the back at the hacks, and she goes, wow, these three minutes take a really long time. Because <laughs> you have to wait the three minutes before you can actually start the game. I don't think she's ever experienced that as a thrower before. Makes it tough on the announcer though because uh, you got two leads, both yep, named Michelle. Yep. <laughs> well, you can't be wrong. You can't right do down. that. You got, you got to mix them up. Right up. Oh, you got to go. Still got it. Still got it. Still got right. it. Was a soft throw. A little soft. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. We'll try it again. Yeah. Same weight and it'll Maybe a bit more eye. I like that. So as this weekend has gone on, or week, whatever you want to call it, um, we've started to see these teams playing a little bit more conservatively in the house the first few ends, not going all out offense. What are you thinking is going to happen this game now that we're into a tiebreaker, Sean? You mean given that they've already thrown the first one into the house and called for the second one? Well, no, they could still throw it. They called for the same shot. It, it is surprising. Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with playing an open first end. There's nothing wrong with playing it into the rings. You see teams do that a lot. It, you brought it up because you know I've talked about it for the last two days. I was just days. trying to set you up as all It's just doing. surprising to me that they seemed willing to really play aggressively in the opening couple of days when really you, you'd be thinking, you don't know the ice that well yet. You're still figuring it out. Yeah, you'd think if you were going to be inclined to play more aggressively, you'd wait. And by now, when you think you know the ice, the old saying, pitter-patter, let's get at her. And there's been lots of teams out there over the years that have taken the approach that we want to try to score early because we don't know what the ice is going to be like late. There's nothing wrong with playing this way, but you just expect that if teams were going to play this way, they would have started this way Wednesday night and just continued it. You, you don't really expect it to start aggressive and then get more conservative. That's what we said through the first almost three days. We barely seen a blank end on our featured coverage. I mean, maybe two blank ends through the first you know, two and a half days. Yeah, and they weren't really because they they played something into the rings. It was a rollout somewhere later in the end, and it just left an opportunity. But something that is even to further that discussion, Michelle Inglot, who is calling the game but throwing lead rocks was asked um, do you call the game any differently or play it any differently now that you're not throwing those last rocks Michelle used to be one that actually liked lots of rocks and play at any time and she would uh, never be never be afraid to go offensively um, but says that she calls it a little differently because of the way that um, Stephanie. Yeah, yeah thank you. The way that Stephanie likes to throw her last rock, and, and that's what she's more comfortable with. So, a Yeah, I thought that there. was interesting. She's, I would call it more aggressive yeah. if she was throwing the last rock. Yeah. I've, I've never done it while I was playing lead stones, but I've done it throwing third stones, and I do. That's my own experience with it, too. Is you really have to tailor the way you call the game so that you're, everything is building towards the last shot. Well, you've got to build it towards the last shot that the Thrower. guy who's throwing it likes to throw. Yeah, 14 yeah. And we've certainly seen Stephanie make some of those great big, you know, nice run backs, nice, nice up weight hits. But you know what? Last night she won the game with a draw to the forefoot too. She did. So can do it all. And seemed to be, we were having a little trouble with her microphone, but it seemed to be that she had a chance to play a double peel on her first one. She didn't want to play it because she was afraid that she might spill something over to the center line. It seemed like she was fairly confident. She knew that in turn draw path and, and just as long as it was open, she was fine. That's she what she wanted to throw. didn't want to risk covering it up. Yeah. Everyone's just sliding a little narrow today. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give you that 40, 45 even, hey? <laughs> yeah, so the are wide open here. Same spot. Like, I think this box is gonna run the same. I agree. Yeah. And we talked about this this morning as well. There's only one game going on in the building. So they'll be paying close attention to see if the ice is the same or if it's changing or if anything's a little bit different. Everyone's little little soft. Little soft. Little soft. Little soft. Little soft. I haven't seen a whole lot of teams have uh, time clock issues this week either, but one of the things is that when you play an open end like this at the start, you usually play a quick end, you bank. We call it banking a little bit of time for later in the game when you have to discuss things. Of course, you do have two timeouts in addition to your thinking time, but uh, I was down talking to the players before the game, and we actually, because we're down to one game, we've got enough mics for the coaches. Jim Wilson coaching the Mitchell team. They'll have a mic on if they call a timeout. So he told his team not to call any timeouts. <laughs> so they're going to need all their thinking time. They're not allowed to, <laughs> to call a coach. No timeouts today. Good. Good. Nine five up here. Hey. Okay. I like that. You got it. Oh, Sarah Anglin throwing. Third stones for Team Englot, making her third provincial Scotties appearance. Clean. Clean. Just clean, yep. Just clean. Just clean. Yep. 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 Y
Just clean. Yes. Yeah. Just yeah. clean. Just clean. Thanks, Sarah. Not a girl. That was an eight nine, Jenna. Okay. Okay. Go here. Okay. Good throw. It's really gradual curl there. Yeah, yeah. Nice curl. Pretty good. Deep. How much? Dead. Whoa. Whoa. How much weight? Whoa. Ten, Ten up. Clean. Ten two. Good. Really good. And a nice clean open end. Into skip stones now here That's in the first. Good wait, 10 3 on that one. Yeah, moving right along. This is coming up really nice at the end today. Yeah. The one thing you mentioned there, Sean, too, about time clocks, sometimes when you play not the traditional roles, like in, in this case with Michelle and, and yeah, Stephanie, sometimes that does eat a little bit more time, but I think they've got that all figured out now as well. Yeah, prob probably not as much with this lineup because. Uh, Michelle's throwing the lead stones, so she's already down at the hack ends. I've seen some of the combinations, I know what you're talking about, with the skip and third who play in reverse roles, where sometimes that uh, third rock thrower who's calling the game is still behind the tee line when normally the third would be in the hacks, and that travel time to the other end counts in your thinking time, so... Yeah, it, it can be a little more time consuming when they've got that mix, but I don't think it should affect uh, Michelle's team too badly. She just stays at the other end, throws her two. Yeah, well, they've certainly gotten to the rhythm of their positions. That gives Jessica Mitchell a kind of a freebie throw at the house here. Probably a high 14 to T. Yeah. Saw a couple of these earlier in the event with the team with Last Rock, and they still came to the middle. This is what I... I'd expect to see this more often when you get this chance yeah, for the open draw in the first end because again, all week long, most of the practice session was geared towards the middle. This particular game, it might not have been because they weren't drawing to the button for hammer, but you get this chance to, to throw a practice draw in the first end, throw it oh, off center and uh, get a read on what you might need for line to get behind a corner guard later. I thought it was Jessica close, Mitchell. Line's good, line's Her first line. with the hammer here in one. Yeah, go, go, go. short would be bad. Yeah, it's exactly not in. what you want. Go, 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 go. An opportunity here for hey. Hey. Stephanie Schmidt to bring one in behind. Wide open end, and now you get uh, get a chance to go around. You might actually get forced. You might forced. get forced. It's just not what you want. I threw here in practice, and it was good. I, I think it is that similar to what you threw in your draws. The very last one in practice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Yeah. Good throw here. So final stone for Stephanie Schmidt here in the first. Throwing skip stones for Team okay, Engla. Just for weight. We're through. Want it to come down. All right. Need this to get over and hit the brakes. And it will just okay. stay on the edge of the 12 foot. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. bury though, I don't think. It's a good look at it. They can this see it. Pretty good chunk of it. Looks like they're going to play a quiet weight, though. I don't know oh, if that was a case where uh, Jessica Mitchell maybe faked out her opposition. Like Stephanie here, looked at that rock come up short and thought, oh, it must yeah. be a little heavier there. <laughs> Better throw it. It's annoyingly in by this one. 10-5. 10-5, This should go the whole way. Yeah, it should.
And the final stone on the way here in one. Ready? Jessica Mitchell yep. Queen, yep. of Saskatoon. Okay, we're nosing. Okay, that's fine. Well, forced to hit it on the nose and settle for one. That annoyingly in Little Rock. Annoyingly in Little Rock causes a problem. Jessica Mitchell takes one with the hammer in one. And we go to two in this all-important tiebreaker on Saturday at the Viterra Scotties from Tisdale. This is it. It all comes down to this rock. The hours in the gym, the weeks away from my family. This is what I've been training for. And all those voices trying to tear me down. I'm here to silence them. We've given everything we have for a chance to get everything we want. To the second end, Jessica Mitchell. Probably a little annoyed to take one and one, but on the board with the lead here in a tiebreaker against Michelle Englott. Michelle and her team out of the Highland Curling Club in Regina have the hammer here in two. The winner will meet Penny Barker in the 3-4 game of the Page Playoff. Get a rock sliding tight, and I think the two teams had to uh, both look at it and agree, and they've decided that it's annoyingly in, so <laughs> Michelle can hit it. We're using that for, for that's, now that's on. Not, <laughs> yeah, annoyingly in. Yep, 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 yep. Was it, do we know, was it Jessica? It was Jessica that said, said yeah. yeah. She was still in the front end. Just want to make sure we give credit. <laughs> give credit where credit is due. Are we calling it credit or blame? I don't know. There's probably going to be a t-shirt made. <laughs> Annoyingly in. <laughs> yeah. Hold down. 10, 8. Yeah. I think that's about what we should probably do. 6, 7. Equals. Line's good. 6, 7. Room right now. 7, 8. Queen for line. 6, 7 still. Go it now. I'm going hard now. 6, 7. Stay close. This will come down. 7. Hard, yep, 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 yep. Go, 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 go. Hard! One more, one more, one yep, more. Yep, yep. Oh, we're gonna have to sweep differently today. Yeah. 14, five. Yeah, yeah. like just, you, just a, a split is good too, right? Yeah. So what do you want to throw for weight? Like, back one? Okay, I like that, Michelle. Yeah, it's like a Once a skip, 20, always 20, a skip. Yeah. Calling her shot from the other end. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've had leads that wanted to do that anyway. <laughs> Career leads. Let it work. Just through. Okay, close. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost half. Half. Yeah. Half. Hard. Sarah yeah. England. Hard, Sarah. On the sweep. Gotta go. Gotta Hard, go. Sarah. Sarah. Trying Sarah. to get it by. Past one. And how far will we get this into the back of the 12 foot? Really good spot. Yeah. Go, Bob. Okay. That came down in the middle there. Yeah. I got a Bump up. 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 Up
Abby. Clean. Let's Megan Farrick's oh. making her ninth Scotty's yeah. appearance. Throwing second oh, stones yeah. for Jessica go, go, Mitchell. Go, 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 go. Hard with that perfect weight. Okay. Pick that rock much, out of there. Too much weight. But lose the shooter. Michelle, I got a 14.5 on your top eight. Okay. okay. Uh, is that like 30? 30 here? Yeah, 30, 35. Yeah. Hair firm, but she said too much ice, so. Yeah. Hair firm, not, uh, not uh, go. Quiet! Okay, lawn's really good. Top 12. Yep, top. We're okay. Hard lawn! Gotta go. Hard! Hard line! Uh, uh, little rub off, rub it. Trying to bring this right down. Oh, goodness. Oh, That's oh. Fine, Ash. <laughs> There's some good oh, sweeping. Yeah, yeah even hard. when they realized they were short, no, it's, it's like strong, so, so like important to rub off so you don't leave them overlapped. You mean like a 450? Yeah, you got either one to work with now. <laughs> Do you like the kick with a better ad? I like a little more kick. A little bit more kick? Like, I got 50. 55. <laughs> if I was breathing that hard, I'd like I'd want to see more kick on your delivery too. Seven. <laughs> Put that. That was a good shot. Yeah. yeah, if you could throw more weight the next time, that'd be good. Seven eight. Seven eight. But the, but the front ends are so good because oh. you've seen this throughout the week, not often, but they'll have a great scrub like that and then the very next shot they've got to do it again. For sure. And they don't say anything, they don't complain, good shot. Yeah, no. Well, some of them are, are, well, the majority of them, they're all in such great shape too. They go to the gym between curling games and yeah, they, they work at it. Yeah. Ashley Williamson. Just true. Bring second yep. stones for Michelle Langlot. Yep, back 12, hard line. Weight's good. Through. We're hard big. Line. We're, through. We're big. Closer to hack. Okay, roll step. Okay. How was the throw? Just a little throw in, but it's going to sail right out the back and won't hang on. Yeah, they were looking for the split there, trying to accomplish a couple things with one stone, opening that up as well as. Getting a couple of their own in the rings. I got, I got a 97. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Huh? Oh. I feel like we should have just got off of it and tried to nose it. Two, two, three. Three. Let it work. Let it work. Let it work. Three. Line's okay. Line's good now. There goes. Four. Three. There it goes. Line only. Are we not in? Three, four. No. Maybe just. Okay. I think it oh. needs to sit. It needs to sit. Oh. Okay. All right. Serves the purpose. No hole there. I think it's just there. Just run that, so. sir. Okay. Let's go, girl. Get away. Michelle indicating, so she's saying run it, so they're going to try to play the red straight back onto the one in the rings. Yep. The other option, yep. you could play the yep. double peel, hit it this much on the yep. other side and, and have the shooter come across, maybe push one into the rings. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, and off their own, but it sails out the back. Still just the two red shots, red stones of Pardon? Jessica Mitchell in the rings. Two, it's okay. Yeah, and it gives them a chance to come around yeah. again just because uh, everything's still guarded yeah. out There's there. There's no port. Nope. It's tight, but it curled. Yeah. Just a good yeah. look at it. I was, I was tight, but... One more. Yeah. I like it. Line's good. Five. 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 Six. Five. Six. Yes. Yes. Five. Six. Yes. Only line. Line only. Six, seven. Whoa. Seven. Seven. Eight. Final Eight. third stone for... Line's great. They're deep. Whoa. Line's Jenna Hope. bump their own. Okay. Yeah, a little deep there. Yeah. Really good opportunity to put that one top four and uh, same thing. Ah, okay. 
Although they're playing the yeah. run back anyway. So. I think just to this one. Hit. Running the one on center line. Same turn. Same weight. Yep. 14. Sorry, Jess. That's okay. Line was coming really good. Yeah. So with the hammer here in two, final third stone Close. for Sarah England. Yep. Hard. Hard, 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 hard. Whoa. And we'll get it straight back, but it will open up the middle. Plan B, when they could see they weren't getting the run, let it curl so that at least it gets well off the center line. You were there. Yeah, out of the way. mind curling a little more? There's still going to be nothing available on that outturn side. I guess she's got an angle run in. Not much. Like a 15. Not sure you're playing an angle run in against three, though. Probably not. Even though you do have a pretty wide target at the back there. Well, here, let's put it this way. If you're going to play it, you're more likely to play it on your first one than your second one. If you can make it with the first one, you actually could score two. That's right. Skip Stones here in two. And Jessica Mitchell. And her rink curling out of the Nutana Curling Hard Club. Hard early. Hard early. In Saskatoon. Two, two. Clean for line. Three. Stay off now. Whoa. Needs to curl. No, it doesn't. Whoa, whoa. It's it's not. Clean, so. clean, clean. Touch center. Clean, whoa. It'll touch center. Hey, no line's good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Sit. Nice. Sit. 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 Sit.
Tight three. Four. Okay, you can go right then. Now. Line's four, good. Five. Four, Line's five. good. Line's good. Line's really good. Lay the there weight. Go. There we go. There we go. Line's great. Four. Line's great. Whoa, if you're only at four, let it yep. sit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. let it sit on this line. Let it sit on this line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Sure finishes hard. Yeah, now okay, it's good rolling. Judge. Yeah. Good judge. Good judge. Either that or the run. I, I think the way this hurts. The waist wants you to come a little wider. Right. Probably but there for her. Right. So just, yeah, I just, I gave you I'm here. Cool. I'm up pretty hard. And like, you need like a smidge more weight. Yeah. Definitely. So I'll give you, yeah. Feels back like eight. It. Yeah. So okay. Stephanie looking at coming this back way. Eight. With that much curl, curl right big in. finish. Tapping that one back to get her two points. Well, mind you, if you look at where her first one ended up, yeah. there is some big finish there. Yep. I don't think she even needs to be that. She doesn't need to be ridiculously tight to the one at the top of the rings. I mean, look at where her last one ended up. It's completely overburied. Oh, that's right. Yep. The wider out she's coming in, how much does that going to affect how much it finishes? At, at this point in the week, week you might see a little bit more curl coming from wide, but I don't know if she's out wide enough for that. Final stone here in two for Stephanie Schmidt. Okay, Lon's really Trying good. to find a way in here to get two. Lon's good. Little bit, Ash. Little bit early, Ash, for Lon. Hold it. Close, Ash. Close, Close. Close. Close Ash. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Ashley. Now they're on it. Hard. Ashley hey, Williamson. Hey, can you get the tap back enough? And she will. Great shot from Stephanie Schmidt. They'll take a close look, but it's two yellow on the board. And with the hammer in two, team Michelle Englott gets the job done. And in this all-important tiebreaker, they lead Jessica Mitchell 2-1. Heading to the third here on Saturday afternoon at the Viterra Scotties. Hi, I'm Shannon and we're here at the brand new Bike Tricks Electric Bike Showroom in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. It's grand opening, so we're gonna head inside and talk to some Bike Tricks customers. Let's go. I chose Bike Tricks because of the reputation. I know people who have Bike Tricks bikes and I know that it's a local company, which I like to support local. They're great bikes. Come down and see the team here. They're really a great team of people. Check out the bikes, go for a ride. Hi, this is Dustin Keltoff with Saskatoon Auto Connection. Did you know we've moved to a massive new location in Sutherland? Let me show you around. We've combined sales, service, glass, and detailing into one automotive superstore. Whether you want to fix, maintain, or spruce up your ride, or trade it in for something fresh, we've got the team, the services, the inventory, and the financing to help you with any of your automotive needs. We know farming isn't an 8 to 5 business. That's why we want to give you the tools to do business anywhere, anytime. With MyViterra, you have a powerful tool at your fingertips to stay connected no matter where you are. Create online contracts, receive customized alerts, view your account information, and access grain prices in real time. Talk to your rep today and find out more about how you can harness the power of MyViterra. Keeping you connected in real time. This is MyViterra. Off to the third end. Jessica Mitchell will have the hammer down two to one. A couple of really nice shots there last end by Stephanie to get her two. Skips deuce, as I say. Snuck in there in a fantastic final shot. To pick up two in the lead. Yeah, I have to admit, Stephanie's impressed me this weekend, throwing last shots. We've seen her throw for many years, and she's always thrown very well. Um, plays well, but uh, it's always different when you're throwing the last ones, and it certainly doesn't seem to be bothering her any. It's a runner-up at the 08 Canadian Juniors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Caitlin Laws. Yep. Lots of experience throwing those big game shots. That's yeah, I got a 20. Yeah. Line's good. Three. Oh, I think you're all there. Minimum line. Michelle Johnson in her second Scotty's appearance. Three, three. Throwing lead stones for Jessica Mitchell. 
Okay. It's a good thing it was a corner guard because it was the center yeah. to be in the house. Yeah, just keep sliding over there to yeah. the wings. Well, and they didn't sound like they were that worried about it. They were saying three, they were willing to clean it, and it just slid and slid and slid. I mean, three's a tight guard anyway, but uh, if that's to the center line, it's in. Sliding a lot better. Okay, just to it maybe. Uh, two room. Mine's really close. Coming down. We could finish it. I don't no. know if we have room. No. Great. So that was Great a little better throw, guys. maybe? Yeah, it was. Okay, okay. Good. That feels sweet. It was another one where they were worried it wasn't going to stop in time because you, you heard Sarah and Lindsay we could finish it. But. <laughs> What she meant by, I don't know if we've got or room, I don't know if we've got room way, to finish it and, and still stay that, outside right. of the race. Sure. Okay, back like? line. Sorry? Back line. Okay. It's funny because I thought I heard Sorry, with her first Jessica with her two ends ago tell have, her, tell her team that she got a time on Michelle Johnson's okay. rock to the top go, of the eight like foot, and she said, I'm sure she said 14.5, which I had to do a double take at because that's sounds, I mean, that's plenty fast, but it's heavier than what we've seen all week. And yet right now it seems a little faster than what they've been used to. Everybody's sliding a few inches deep. Good, that works. Yeah, we were hearing numbers at the start of this tournament at 15.8. Almost 16. Yeah, that's a sneaky way to avoid a free guard zone violation. You tap the one onto the one in the house. Ashley Williamson. Okay, Lon's good, guys. Lon's good. Little tight. Made so many key shots last night. I was just thinking the same thing as I said that about Stephanie impressing me. Ashley has too. Ashley's played really well, and last night especially too. Well, I think Ashley was player of the game earlier on this week as well. She made two key shots in nine that opened things up and allowed yes. them to get the blank and take the hammer to ten. Yep. It wasn't looking good for a little bit in that ninth end. Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, if you get on it and just even do the heavy clean plow for the first bit, it helps right off. Yeah. Nine five. Yep. Nine five. But if you need, need three in a row to yeah. get to a tiebreaker and four or five in a row to maybe get to a final, you're going to need everybody to come up with big shots along the way. You're exactly right. Team effort. Everyone needs to play. Oh, good. Just, Just jam the one, one on the back. back. Or Buried the shooter, though. We're one, two. A little cluster on the corner. I think we just go right here. Sorry, I said I was going to give you more ice, and yeah. I didn't. Same line. Yeah. Oh, it's a little second, you got second it. Second shot, you just softed it over towards the rock. Okay. I like that. Quite a bit. Okay. Okay, line's good. Three, three tight. Line's good. Just Top tight. Top 12. Just here. Just there. Little, line little will higher. be good. Line little will be higher. good. Just here. Saying. Yeah. We're there. Little higher. Both there. Just to your broom. You're good. Good, Ash. Really nice. Uh, I don't know. I think we need a more pop still. Yeah. We're going to hit it early. Yeah. Okay. Or a double peel, but I think this is a shot. Can we try that? I like that. Or we just need more ice. So, yeah, we have to do something. Here's pretty good, too. Okay. We, we got it. We got it. I think we have. We're going for the freeze? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So playing the freeze and the one in the back of the four? Yeah. The yeah, they make this freeze, so they're going to see the Inglot team freeze on top, Lines and their on. house is getting pretty small. You're eight, nine. You're deep right now. Lines they don't five. actually have to be all the way to it, but they got to be close. Yeah. So you got to be Something. sure your shot rock. Curl. Nine. Uh, nine. Curl, curl, curl. It's going sideways. Nine. 
just spilled out off the end. Stayed on the center line. Just a little too much weight and didn't give it a chance to get curling. Right I think we go here, sir. So 45 to 50. Yeah, I'm asking Sarah to put this one top for her around now. 50 would be nice for you. Sarah England. Tight, 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 tight. All there. Back four. Third stones here in the back third. Four. Okay, okay. Back now. Back okay. Four. Back eight. Back eight. It's going to come down a bit. This line is four. ideal. Really nice line for this. See? Okay, two are yellow. There. This is ideal. Two are yellow. Well, two are yellow. Great spot, right Sarah. It's right on the broom. Yeah, pretty nice. Good. Sorry, I was tight, so I wanted to make sure you got oh, that on That was perfect. We hit it early. Now looking at making a really few good. yellows move here, running this. Feel clean. Jenna Holt. Whoa. Whoa. Might be able to do this where you run the yellow guard onto the red right beside it and have yeah. it spin back into the rings, get rid of a couple yep. guards. You Too thick for that, though. Oh. And it's actually the yellow Englot stone yeah. that moves into the eight foot. Just guard that one that they just... Well, it was always going to be the one that came into the rings. They were hoping it was going to come through with a little bit more pace, but you would have needed to hit the first stone a little thicker, so you hit the second one thinner. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What is base off of that? I got like a thirty. Okay. Yeah. I'll get out there. So asking Sarah for the guard. Okay, line, line's good. Line's good, good line stuff. 12. Line's really good. To my broom. We're there. Broom. Line should be good. To my broom. Line's great. To your broom. To your broom. Whoa, whoa. To your broom. Whoa. Great spot, Sarah. Girl. Very nice draw. Again. Or a great guard. For Sarah Anglin. Well, now this is interesting. Yeah. 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 Well, now this is interesting. Yeah. 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 Trying to run their own in? Yeah. yeah. Hold it there. It's kind of an all or nothing this early in the end. Yeah, very, a little early because, you know, they don't make it like that. Now they also didn't open up for the next. Um, that is not the way you'd expect to miss it, though. If you were going to miss that, you'd miss it thin and maybe jam it on the top one. You, you can never risk over curling on that shot. Maybe a little tight on the broom. I thought broom it or? had a good chance of curling. And okay. sure Changes did. the angle, too. On sure does. For them, yeah. Raise yeah. Later. yeah, for them to play it now, they're not going to... It's tough to get by that one. But when it's out a little yeah. wider, it was right. the better spot. Well, and if you hit it thin on that one, you drive it onto that one at the top of the eight foot. Well, you take that because now you roll off at least. Both sides are open. She can't guard both of them with one rock. We fully swept your 35 for top button last time. Okay. Skip stones now here in three. Okay, guys. You got it. I have any kind of a draw. And the first one here from Stephanie Schmidt. No ad. Okay, line's good, guys. Top eight, top four. Line's really good. A little early, top four. Four. line. Coming down. Top eight. Yeah, line. Yeah, top line. eight. Hard line. Hard line, sir. Tight. Tight. Okay, okay, you're good there. Yeah, just no ad. Yeah, okay. okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Need a little more right. ad. Hey? Yeah, yeah, need an ad. Okay. 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 Yeah. Megan's well, there. Basically, yeah. leaves Jessica that. Just make sure we get by and hopefully. It's a lot there. of staggered Thank yellows in one yeah. line coming down the middle. Okay. Yeah. Well, the, the nice thing, though, for. Uh, yeah. Just because she doesn't necessarily have to get dead buried. If you're half around, because those yellows are on the side of the forefoot, Stephanie won't be able to try to pick it out because she could jam it in. Anywhere it. here, going that way. Yeah. The key is she's got to touch the button to be shot rock, 
And once you do that, I mean, if you make this perfect and Stephanie decides she can't do anything with it, there, she lobs up a guard. And how do you get two? There's, there's not enough room left on that side of the forefoot to score yeah. twice. Yeah, okay. This is your shot to make sure you can score it all. If you don't make this one here, you won't have it on your last one. First stone from Jessica Mitchell. She has the hammer here in three. Big ad, big ad. Top Seven. one. Line's a little tight. Only one. Line only. Room yes. right now. Line only. Yes. Yep, line. Worried about yep. line. We're saying it's a little heavy, but it uh, looks down. pretty close. And it will settle up. 14-3. First Please. shot or second shot. Five. Yeah, that's just a tough one to read. Good yeah. That's close. Yeah. If you want to move it, that's okay. Michelle too. seems to think it's red, I think. I think I saw her motion we'll, with her brim. We'll adjust for sweep. Okay, so the Inglot team... Looking at dropping one right there. Is this, did I slip a little tight on you? Yeah, I didn't like the line immediately. Okay, but we don't need to be. The sweeping way. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> yeah, just finish the throw. You got it. Final stone without the hammer in three for Stephanie Schmidt and Team Englot. Back four. Okay, line's good. Back line's four. good. Back four. Easy, easy. Close. Line go down. Down. Coming down. Yep. Top T. button. Just T. Top button. Ashley Just Williamson. Top button. T. Sarah Anglin. Top button. T. Yep. Good. Right set the button. <laughs> Great shot. Don't yeah, know if they're sitting one or two, but pretty high. fantastic <laughs> because, you know, I don't know what the Mitchell has here to score. Well, if you try and come in and move, you can't come in the same way. Well, you're it's gonna going risk, right onto that. But you're going to risk bumping your red back. And you certainly... And then it's one, two, maybe three. You can't move far enough while well, your two. shooter stays there. Right, your shooter's going to probably stay here because she's only going to be throwing this yeah, kind of weight. That's just to give up one, though. So it would just be one still. Right. Okay. Just a hair more than that. Okay. Back that? Yeah. I got to throw back Kate to move it enough for two any... Well... Are they thinking they can get to the inside of that? Looks almost... Or do I throw it back 12 possible. and just rattle it? Make sure we move it well, out of there enough to get one. You are, you are getting one, and if you're throwing that kind of weight, you can give up three. I'm not understanding yeah. what they're okay. doing with back 12 weight. Yeah, yeah, I'm not either. That, that's okay. is risky. Okay. I'm looking back to see if Jim Wilson you, is... You catch a quarter of a stone here. Yeah. Uh, the yellow goes on to the red. Your shooter rolls out of the forefoot, and you're giving up three. With that much weight, your shooter will roll. This one's going to go on here. That one's going to go there. Yeah. And you're going to count one... Two and three. Three feet more. So I'm kind of surprised that they're playing this much weight. Yeah. Jim, look this way. I, I don't think they are with where the broom is now. I think they must have changed their mind because she's got broom at the edge of the eight, eight foot. Final stone here in three for Jessica Mitchell. Back four. Lean. Yeah, that's certainly Lean. less weight than they Back were talking. Four. Back yeah. four. Against one, Four. maybe two. This is really curly. Whoa. Curl! Curl! Hard! Megan Four. first. Curl, go, go, go! Get on it, Jenna. Right to the front. Okay, okay. One yellow? One yellow, yep. But it one will yellow. be a steal of one. One yellow. For Michelle Englot. Here in three. Best she could do, really. We head to the fourth. Englot in this tiebreaker leads. Jessica Mitchell, three to one. 
At Pharmasave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your Pharmasave pharmacist. Live well with Pharmasave. What appealed to me about working in wireless network operations would be just working on the latest and greatest technology in the wireless world. I knew it was the right fit when my days go really, really fast. I like ripping things apart and putting them back together. And with my role at SaskTel, I get to be hands-on with almost anything. We're either fixing, repairing, or building new. There's such a mix of duties that it's never boring. There's such a diversity of activities and there's still so much learning. All the gold medals in the world can help you now. You can throw the perfect rock and still miss. But it just takes one. You leave it all out there on the ice to leave behind a legacy. Saskatchewan Championship Curling is brought to you by Viterra, proud sponsor of the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Tisdale, Saskatchewan and Michelle Englott, the steal of one and three, up on Jessica Mitchell, three to one. Mitchell will have the hammer throwing red stones. And right next door, Penny Barker is out for practice and waiting the winner of the tiebreaker. Yeah, with the, with, the, with the curl when it comes in, it just like, grinds. Yeah, the teams that have booked their spot in the playoffs already and are playing today do get uh, assigned some practice time. Uh, Nancy Martin was out earlier. Okay, clean it in. Skylar Ackerman and Penny Barker are out right now. How much are you focusing yeah, you on practice and how much are you kind of looking over watching who you might be playing? They'll be focusing on practice while they're out there. Good. Then they'll look over after that's over. Yeah. <laughs> Hoping it goes yeah, 12 or 13 right, right ends so that they can all get tired out. <laughs> yeah, and tire them right out. on top of it, that's good. Okay, I like that too. Like you guys could, yeah. Middle. Hopefully Blank the 11th or 12th, that'd be great. Yeah, so. Roll out the, on the uh, hit for the win in the 11th, play 12, Thanks, sure. Thanks. Yeah, just that little extra ice helps. Yeah. Tight. Watch the room. Watch the room for now. Michelle Englott, no stranger to big games in this event. There's seven times the provincial champion. There it goes. One yeah, what I was going to say is with Holland's loss this morning, nobody's going to have a three-game day, though. Everybody that's playing is uh, just playing one or possibly two. Nobody's going to play three games today. Yeah, Amber Holland had an opportunity to get into yeah. a tiebreaker this afternoon. She fell in her game, but yeah, she would have played the early game, the middle game, the late game, yep. and then again tomorrow if she kept winning. It just yep. walks. Yeah. Line's good. Five, six. Five, six. Five, six. Five, six. Five, six. Line's really good. And I got a Line's good. Like a 10 and then a 20, but I Five, think it's Five, six. Her out turn, she lets Play go. Wait, wait, line's three, great. Seven. seven. I'm just going to say Oh, for seven. Seven. As long as we're at least here, it does not need to curl. I'm just walking now. Well, uh, yeah, 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 get shot, get shot, get shot. Yeah, I think that came right out the other side. Lots yeah, of movement there. Her. Not a lot of revolution on that stone, though. Okay. Which means it'll finish harder. Yeah, use it, use it. Okay, Lon's really good. Really Top four. Lon's really good. We got round. Limited. Top four. <laughs> yep. He gives a little curl. I want to go. Curl. It ran really nicely though. So. Yeah, it did. <laughs> yep. Go, yeah, go, seven. Go go, 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 go. More, more, go. more. Go. Good way. Nice one. 
again. Another nice shot there by Ashley. Oh, lift on. No, no. I if you curl up and make the double, it's all right. Yeah. Looking at running. Oh, wrong color. Like here. Megan nice. Ferks of Saskatoon, Whoa. her ninth Five. Scotty's appearance. Oh, yep. Yep. Twice a runner-up. Yep. Yep. Right up there. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Good. And we'll split out a couple. Yeah, moves a couple, leaves the center guard. Does change the color of the center guard, what though. What do you guys like? I don't like the double, but... A lot of calculating there for so the sweepers. Right Bigger here. add, slower Top kick. Top floor. Just to hit. Yep. So yep. they have to. Top floor. Okay, we're on. Okay, heavy. Fighting the Calculate the weight. Nope, 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 nope. Wow. Nice shot. Somebody calculated something right because that's <laughs> top four foot behind cover. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, if yeah. I'm sitting out Let's not playing, wait. getting a little nervous of Michelle Anglad's team. They're all starting to heat up. Yeah, they are playing very well. <laughs> and building a lot of momentum over the last day and a half. That's right. Sit. Oh, on this one. Can you touch more? On the back? No, oh, you're on the top. Okay. Um, yeah, curl it to not kill her own. Which is what they were trying to avoid. I was going to say, that's probably not what they drew up. It does clear the front. But I was like, I like the guard almost, but I, I know like I've heard it was like uh, They were hoping to leave that rock in behind cover for a lot wrong. longer because it yeah. might have been the one that gave them a chance to score two. Yeah, like, yeah, that's better, I think. Okay. okay. Throwing the guard, yeah, but what exactly are you, where do you guard? Yeah. They, they say right there. Okay, what I, that room? Yeah. Yeah. That 50, 60, like what I do with this guard? Yep, exactly. Halfway. Okay, line's good. Halfway. My knee curl, you guys. No, I don't think you do. It's gonna finish. Oh, if you're tight, you're good. We you need tight. You no, gotta be tight with this. Right to so here. Curl now. Hard. 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 Great spot. Good, sir. Jessica That's misses. Exactly in some trouble here. They could really use a little hope, but she's in the hack, so. <laughs> you knew that was coming again at some right point. <laughs> what end did you have it? <laughs> you bet on? In the pool, <laughs> you got a pool going. <laughs> I actually had it earlier. Yeah. He waited till the fourth end to use it. Yeah, either way, I like That's leaving that side top. open though, I don't want to roll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like the over under, we'll do it before and after. Look at this. What? What was that kick at? I got a kick of a. Yep. And in the oh. hack, as you said, oh. 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 Jenna Hope oh. from Outlook, Saskatchewan. Oh. Her third Scotty's appearance. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yep. Oh. There's a good shot. Girl. Nice. Let's rid of a couple of yellows. Same spot. Yeah, looking at replacing the guard. I, I Same want, spot. I, think I still want to throw less and throw better. And they kind of like angled that. the red red. I mean, if, if you had to, if the red red is lined up to that uh, yellow. There's a little bit of space between them. Yeah. There it is. That's, that's better. Three. Okay, just a little tighter. 
We're a little farther out. We need some curl here, guys. Yes, yes. 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 need some curl. Hard. Finish it. Hard step. You're moving it. Hard step. Hard step. Hard. Just to the outside of the center line. Left yeah, port. I think they certainly did. There you can see. Sorry. If it was like. Here? How much less did I kick? Not only did they leave a port, but I think they can uh, actually get a roll behind the corner as well. Maybe. Yeah. Final third stone here in the fourth. Yep, yep, yep. Hard! Hard! Oh! Other way here, other way. Just past the guard. The hit. Rolled inside, yeah. a touch, and now can Stephanie do what they wanted to do? They sure could. We can go that way, just like that. I like just I like ball. She just threw under icing everything. Decently. You want eleven? Yeah, I like I like eleven. Okay, okay. You bought it, Steph? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's nice eleven. Because sometimes Why? you guys throw it really straight and scared. Yeah. Because eleven? Yeah. Hey, this is a good spot. Okay. Yeah. Straight out to it here. Yeah. Let's make it good. Can I have a hair more? Let's go, Seth. Skip Stones here in four. And Stephanie Schmidt. Big. Big. Hard to get off the guards. Ten hard five. Ass. Hard, hard ass. it. Hard, 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 hard. Trying to there. avoid the guards does hard. the hit. And a little too much roll will spin right out. Yeah. Or <laughs> okay. anything around there, she okay. could probably Sorry, I iced myself and I. Yeah, I would say I was way. I got 10-3. Yeah. Okay, that was yeah. Right. Okay. You like that? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out where they're going to come around like here. here. Yeah. Get a look at the other ice around. surfaces being used. Center two, right? We're dead These there. teams we'll get their practice yeah. sessions in ahead of the playoffs. If we're high in the house. That's probably our best way to get a deuce here. That's that's a good oh, idea. Yes. Okay, top eight. They'd love to be able to come around their own two stones on the okay, so right hand side of the sheet two. as we look at it. The problem is they have to go really wide to get there. You probably can't make it through the middle and if you go really wide, you heard her say it's a bit of a guess. They probably have been out that wide here, with the draw all week. Okay. So she's going to try to come around from the intern side, come around the longer yellow guard. Has to stay fairly high in the house just so that she doesn't leave room to come past the guard and, and move it through. Should be plenty of ice, so. I think so. First stone for Jessica Mitchell here in four. Get it to bite. We may have a new term here. I think that one might be just annoyingly out. <laughs> well, now Stephanie looking at coming around that. 
He's got to find a way to come in somewhere because that's definitely close enough to split. For sure. You don't want to get too tight to it and touch it in yourself, though. She's got the same problem. She's really got nothing on the other side of the sheet without going really wide. So yeah. She's going to have to go out a bit wider yet here. Make sure she gets by the one just thrown. Even if you're fully open, just so she doesn't get a chance to play that split, make her play at your stone. Yep. Anything in the rings. Make her make a play on you. So the final stone here for Stephanie Schmidt. Move inside, and it'll stop full eight foot. Yeah, great sweep. Nice shot there, really. I mean, you don't want to get too close to that red one. And great weight when you have to go out that much further. And now unsure whether that's annoyingly out or annoyingly in. Well, which it wouldn't I be annoyingly in. <laughs> It'd be great if it was in. Right. I guess that makes it annoyingly uncertain. <laughs> Because it changes whether you peel this or come in soft. Oh, absolutely. It does, for shooter. sure. If, yeah. if it's in, you're playing for two. If it's out, you're playing for the blank. If, only if it's that it close now. that it's hard to tell, one team or the other is probably going to call for the biter stick to come out. We don't need you know, to if she rolls out though. here, Michelle Anglot will ask for the measure because mm -hmm. if it's in, we get the hammer back for one point. What did she call? Let me think about this for a second. The hit. Oh, she hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're pretty sure they're not in, especially if the rings are fast. Pretty like, sure not in. Yeah, so she's just calling for the rollout. Is there a safer shot to air on one side or the other if you're uh, Jessica? Or you want to risk it and put a stick to it. I know. <laughs> uh, it's it, really it really depends on what you think. The front end asked too many questions, so now she's going to go back down and take another look. Because <laughs> like either way, it's one. One with a chance of two, well, but or only none one with a chance. chance of one. Yeah, exactly. You hate to give away the hammer. You're going to look at it one more time. That's the thing, when you put your head over top, you just don't know if you're leaning one way or the other, if you're directly over top. Yeah. That leads you to think it's out, but obviously we're at a different angle. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, well, I, I think they. First of all, okay, ten five. I think they think it's in, but what she asked okay. Jenna, Jenna said, Eagle eyes, "Well, I would measure it." So presumably, I think she means if if I was the other team and you rolled out, I would measure it. So I'm pretty sure they're back to their hit and roll out original call. Yep. Final stone yep. in the fourth from Jessica Mitchell. Yep. Hard. Gotta go. Hard. Gotta go hard. 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 She hits the hard. red one. That ends all the discussion. Oh, and she'll just bump off the red. One yellow. Yeah. And it yeah, doesn't one matter. One yellow. It's a steal of one for Michelle Englott. Here in the fourth, back to back steals. And they lead 4 1 in this all important tiebreaker at the Viterra Scotties. We know farming isn't an eight to five business. That's why we want to give you the tools to do business anywhere, anytime. With My Viterra, you have a powerful tool at your fingertips to stay connected no matter where you are. Create online contracts, receive customized alerts, view your account information, and access grain prices in real time. Talk to your rep today and find out more about how you can harness the power of MyViterra, keeping you connected in real time. This is MyViterra. This is it. It all comes down to this rock. The hours in the gym, the weeks away from my family. This is what I've been training for. And all those voices trying to tear me down, I'm here. 
to silence them. We've given everything we have for a chance to get everything we want. Viterra's world-leading, fully integrated agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply sustainable, traceable, and quality-controlled agriculture products. We'd like to recognize Viterra's ongoing support to Curling in Saskatchewan through funding youth and school clinics, as well as other programs, and of course, the Women's Provincial Championship. Thank you, Viterra, for everything you've done and continue to do for Curling in Saskatchewan. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. To the fifth end. And after picking up one in the opening end, Jessica Mitchell finds herself down four to one with the hammer here in five. But Michelle Englad has found a way to steal in the third and the fourth. This all-important tiebreaker winner will meet Penny Barker tonight in the 3-4 game. Meanwhile, coming up tonight, Skylar Ackerman and Nancy Martin in the 1-2 page playoff. Chance to get to Sunday's final on the line in that one. That will be our featured game tonight across the Max TV, Sastel TV network. Big shout out to our entire crew, Kerry Tarasoff, producing our games for Real Cast Media, the entire graphics team, the camera operators, everybody here in Tisdale that's played a small role in our great production. And of course you too, Ms. Susan. It's been so much fun and I appreciate you guys welcoming your team. Yeah, it has been. Be a part of this for the week. I was going to say, don't forget the audio engineer. <laughs> he said you too. I think he meant you. <laughs> yes, Sean is running double duty. He's our audio engineer. And I'm surprised Jester. you had to ask him to mention you. You don't usually have a weak ego. You don't You don't need kudos. That was the first game where I've been willing to mention the audio engineer, though, because I've had too many problems through the most of the week. So far, find some wood. It's everything. All these tables are plastic. Touch wood. Everything is running well today. Out of your hands, so. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really nice pair there by Michelle. Four, five. Four, five. Mine's good. Real, 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 real. And assuming real. I don't get real. a termination letter in my inbox over Gotta the next wait. week, I look real forward to seeing wait. you guys in Saskatoon at the end of the month, <laughs> too. Go. That's Four, right. The go, 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 go. Tank you're going to men's play downs. even stick around and enjoy Saskatchewan for a couple weeks. Yeah, well, it's going to get to zero or above next week, so have some fun. How could I not? And another nice pair by Michelle as well. Both Michelles setting this end up well. It's a nice hack. I'm seeing that as like a four, a four, oh five. Do you like that? I like that. Let's grab it. Okay, that's fine. Big hack! Big! Close! Yep! Curl! Step! Curl! Step! Curl! Big hack! Board now! Board! Hey, okay, you're good. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, just a little big. Ah, it'll just slip past. Rare miss from Ashley Williamson. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, it's 10 bites. It's 10 bites. 11, 5. So I think a 10 is close. And that rock that's sitting in the back corner is the fifth stone of the end, so now they can start peeling guards. Ten! Ten. Lots of learning yep. there. Yep. Ten! Yep, hard. Whoa! We found a few times Whoa. this week that I like the yep. this fifth end can be really up. important, yep. 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 you know, yep. especially going into the break. It is, yeah, yeah psychologically. Yeah. Okay. We can do this. And for momentum. Same thing. And right, rub the guards, okay? You can throw that same way. You have way. A, a good end okay. in the I'll fifth. You, you get up. to think about it for guard, five minutes, okay. and it can just help you right. gain some confidence. Yeah. You know, the other side of that is true as well. If if things go badly, you have to sit there and stew about it for five minutes before you get to throw another rock. 
Or so not come out after the fifth. We saw that last night. Actually, that's right. <laughs> Only we once. did. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna take their own out. Okay, no harm done. That's fine. But no harm done, it replaces it. Yeah. Okay. Three inches or four inches to the right. Yeah. Yeah. She gotta look floaty out. And a little biter down there at the back of the twelve. That one we know for sure is in. I just slid tight. How in? How far in? Annoyingly in. Right. For Jessica, if there's ever, not that she's hey, thinking about a blank right now. No, she's thinking about getting a hit and roll behind cover and perhaps Hard. getting a chance for Hard, two Jenna. here. Hard. Hard, Jenna. Okay, those are fine. Those are fine. How did that ice look from down there? Good. <laughs> Let's she's just roll here a little, here a little okay. bit. Yeah. 10-3. That's a nice 10. Hey. hey. Rolling that way, have to be a little bit careful with that yellow at the back. Yeah, you can't really play for the big roll because it's no. probably jamming. I think it's pretty close to the last one. The other one might Just trying to get these a little closer together and hope she's got a chance for a double Easy. later on. Little roll in. Yeah. Nice shot by Sarah. Just what they drew up. And Jessica Mitchell will yeah, try I this roll under cover again. Set it kind of back out, but it did come back. Yeah. It wasn't my best throw. It works, it works though. Works. Yeah. With Jenna Hope Ten making five. her third yeah. Scotty's yeah. appearance. Lead. Whoa. Lead. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. The hit. And a little roll, <laughs> partially underneath. Yeah. Pretty flat too, no double either way. And they've got to be careful on, which is why they're not playing it, about the jam over there. So looking at hitting and rolling towards center. Just, just an 11. Hit. What ash through? Slot four. Yep. Yep. Hard. Uh, hard. 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 Early. Hard. Step. Hard. You gotta go. Hard, hard for Rose. Keep going. Hard. Stephanie Schmidt. Sorry, Michelle. It's a hit okay. and roll out Keep the going. other way. Okay. You saw the facial reaction from Sarah as it just came yeah. out of her hand. She knew. She knew. She also apologized for it. Yes. <laughs> so just looking at splitting the rings here, throwing it to the other side. But she apologized to Michelle, and Michelle isn't the one that had to sweep it end to end just to watch it roll out. <laughs> <laughs> um, Should have apologized to the sweepers. Pray maybe perhaps. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. T. At least a T. I don't. Yeah, you gotta go. Yep. Yep. Get some separation here. Yep, 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 go, go guys. Every inch, every inch, every inch. Perfect. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, not bad. Do you want the 10? I think so. Okay, yeah. See, and they like that back as deep as possible too. So if they actually make this roll, it's um, back farther. So that they can't make the roll behind those two red in front of the T-line. What was that? Did you get it? Yeah, it was like a 50. Yeah, let's have a good throw here. Yeah. What do we do? Skip stones here in the fifth. Schmidt, her first one on the way. Close. Yep. 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 Hard. 
Sarah oh, Anglin. Yes! She's oh, on it now. Oh, hit. How far can they roll it across? Oh, Ashley oh, Williamson. Now oh, so bite the T line. Yeah, so close to uh, almost perfect. There you see, they got a little bit of it tucked. Oh, that was so close. She had a little bit more of it tucked until it spun back a little bit at the yeah. end. It's just edge on edge. Okay. Give me a bit less, I'll throw a bumper. Yep. Bumper weight. Okay. Hit this and where do you hope the shooter, what's the best case scenario for your shooter? Well, they want to roll as far as they can, but they obviously need to stay for second shot, but they want to get away from there so that they can't give her that shot to roll in behind again. Good. Yeah. A little less still. I think good. I like that. That looks good, good to me. First of two yes. for Jessica Mitchell with yes. the hammer. Yep. Yep. Just bomb. Hard, Megan. Hard. Megan Frerichs. Hard. Yeah, it's starting to curl. Hard. And now getting some more help. Will bump off her own and spill the shooter out the back. Really fortunate, though, that she so. appears to have left her own still behind the cover. If that rolls out into the open, would have given yeah. Stephanie a chance to make a play on it, there, facing yeah, two right. or three with your last one. I like that one. Or at least a straight bar. It still means Stephanie has to be careful not to leave some kind of double no. yeah, for two. Yeah, there's a good look at it. Yeah, the straight bar. It doesn't matter. She'll have a shot for one regardless, right? Like, yeah. we just got to be safe. That was your guy. Yeah. What do you guys like? That. Fully? Yeah. yeah. Looking at doing the Christmas tree thing. This eight foot, hey? So trying to yeah, put their rock stuff. right in okay. here. In the house guard. I love that. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be a Christmas tree. Okay, full eight, Ash. Okay, sounds good. Just full eight we need? Yeah, I'm okay. thinking of 40. Um, yeah, like you can like go that. off of what you, yeah, you kind of, this one was, I got a 40. Yeah. With like a nice and good that was throw. A, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that was top eight. That's that one not, on yeah. Perfect, let's that's do that again. Okay. Same one, guys. Yeah. So the final shot for Stephanie Schmidt without the hammer here in five. And as Sean said, they want to be careful not to set up the double. Yeah, which if they do the Christmas tree, they won't. But yeah, it's, it's not as the Christmas trees go. I think we had one earlier we talked about. It. It's a wide Christmas tree because there's a little bit of air there. But on this particular one, if you're going to miss one side or the other, maybe bury it a little bit more or leave her in the open back one as long as your second shot. Got to get it under these. Okay. Yeah. That's going to come up short. And oh, weird. Kind of a funny one, hey? That was, yeah, I don't and know. it's third shot. Well, it's open, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Leaves her the double for her, too. I thought it was sort of an in-betweener, hey? Yeah, it was. Yeah, sorry. Like, no, don't worry about it. I, felt, I thought you had too, way too much so out of your hands. So getting so underneath, you'd have to hit it so thin yeah. you wouldn't be able to hang on to the yeah, shooter, yeah. right? Really and then nice it didn't line. curl, so I thought we were nine. Great. Yeah, so yeah. sorry. Yeah, the sweepers are apologizing. They're just saying if they could have carried that at another foot or two, they would have got where they needed to be so that there was no double. Just high. Yeah. A final stone for Jessica Mitchell. Curling out of the Highland right. Curling Club in Regina. Oh, no. Trying to pick up yeah. two. Megan Ferks is on. Oh, 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 oh. Now Point off. Plan B trying to go across the top. Go, partner, go. And how far go, can they get it out? Keep it going. Go, go, can you go, get go, it go, back go, enough go. to get your two? Okay. No. It'll hold up by it in the eight foot, so they'll settle for one. Got a nice roll behind the corner there, though. With your last try. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes? As we head to the fifth end break.
Michelle Englott in this tiebreaker, leading Jessica Mitchell 4-2. It's the Viterra Scotties, and we continue from Tisdale. Saskatchewan Championship Curling is brought to you by Viterra, SaskTel, Saskatoon Auto Connection, Singler Real Estate, Coldwell Banker Signature, Boston Pizza Restaurants of Saskatchewan, SaskTel Max TV, Girl Sask, and Real Cast Media. When we were first looking at these e-bikes, I read the reviews. What they talked about was an e-bike grin, and I had no idea what an e-bike grin was, but the first time I powered that bike up, I had the biggest smile on my face. It was unbelievable, because unless you own one or have driven one, you really have no idea what that feeling is like. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to describe. Hi, this is Dustin Keltoff with Saskatoon Auto Connection. I consider it an honour to be able to give back to our curling community, which has been so good to me. Thank you for supporting Auto Connection and making that possible. I would like to do even more with your help. From now until the Sandra Schmerler Foundation Telethon, Auto Connection will donate 100% of the proceeds of its VIP membership sales to the Sandra Schmerler Foundation. If you've been on the fence about trying our service centre out, it's time to call us today. Everything I've worked for, everything I've sacrificed, has led to this. It's out of your hands now. All the gold medals in the world can't help you now. You can throw the perfect rock and still miss, but it just takes one. You leave it all out there on the ice to leave behind a legacy. Nothing is permanent. To everything, turn, turn, turn. Why not pour yourself a smooth Saskatchewan-made Original 16 for a refreshing reminder? Don't sweat the small stuff, embrace it. There's no doubt running any kind of farm comes with day-to-day -day challenges. We built a new facility two years ago. Technology has totally revolutionized dairy farming. Fast Milk gives us the tools to provide high quality standard of milk, making sure our equipment is all well taken care of, make sure that those animals are housed and cared for appropriately. They continue to push us with their standards to make sure that it just gets better and better. When you buy a lottery ticket in Saskatchewan, your money really goes a long way. More than 12,000 sport, culture and recreation groups receive funding from Sask Lotteries every year. Everyone wins. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Tell them Boston Pizza's for dinner. From appies and salads 
to burgers, pasta, and pizza. All delivered to your door. Boston Pizza. Gather round. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more. Saskatchewan Championship Curling is brought to you by SaskTel, proud sponsor of the men's tankard. Yeah, she's floating a bit. Ooh. Great weekend in Tisdale yesterday. I don't think you should touch it was curling day in Saskatchewan, the provincial day of curling. Lots of fun. And everything looking pretty good inside. Michelle Engla with a 4 2 lead coming out of the fifth end break over Jessica Mitchell. And yeah, she'll we, have the hammer here in six. Yeah. And we got some great t-shirts out of that curling day in Saskatchewan. Yeah, we did. And so did a lot of people in the fans. They were giving them away. Ten. Easy, 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 easy. Low curl out. Not the first five ends that Jessica Mitchell's team was looking for. And I, I would imagine that part of the discussion during the fifth end break with Coach Jim Wilson would be, what are they going to adjust? What do they have to do? Jessica Mitchell herself has overcurled on, by my count, at least five takeouts. So is it something with the way she's sliding? Uh, is it the release? Or do they just need to open up the room for her a little bit more? I mean, she, she overcurled on both takeouts that end. Fortunate to get a single out of it. She could very easily have jammed that and given up a steal. Still going out. Still going out. I have to finish it's, it. It's been five ends like that. It's something she's going to yeah, have to figure out depth. here. Line, line will get close. Two, three. Yep, keep it curl. going. Yep, 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 yep. Hard, Megan. Hard, keep Megan. Yep, 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 yep. Hard. Hard. A little more, a little more, a little more. Hard. Good weight. And is it consistent to uh, one rock, first throw or second throw? Or well, is both it? rocks okay. last inch. She yeah, last whipped on the was. first one and then yep. overcurled again on the second one. So, yeah, yeah. no, I don't yeah. think yeah. you can blame a rock there. And I did hear her on one earlier one, so many ends in the week, but once in this game, say, saying, I'm going to throw it good, as the tone of voice suggesting that Lots perhaps she hadn't thrown a couple of the previous right ones good. Waiting to curl, waiting for curl. Last four. four. Okay. Coming down. Okay, there it goes a bit for a break. It's always you for going. Okay. I, I would go now, Ash. But you know, if that's the way you're throwing today and you're throwing consistent, then maybe just take two or three inches more ice and, and trust that that's the way you're throwing today. That's the way you're throwing, yeah. That's a popular golf terminology. You get to the range, it's not about fixing it in your warm up before the game, but figuring out, okay, today I'm playing a slice. So when I get on the golf course, I have to play that way. Well, yeah, but you look funny when you're standing at a 45 degree angle on the tee box. I didn't say my slice was that bad. And you didn't say it was yourself. I didn't say it was me either, yeah. I got the roll, I got the roll, I got the But you told the story with that. The round is not the time to try and fix it or learn it. You understand? This is how I'm hitting the ball today, so I can just, if I recognize that, I can play to that. That's right, play with what you have. Just a nice 10. Okay, let's go, girl. Let's go, good throw. Nice, little big. Good throw. Good 10. Whoa, stay close. There. Okay. Yeah. 7.30 tonight will be our featured action. A little under three hours from now, Nancy Martin and Skylar Ackerman will play in the one-two page playoff with a chance to head to Sunday's final. Penny Barker awaits the winner of the tiebreaker here on our featured sheet right now. That game also at 7.30 tonight here at the Tisdale Recplex. I was close. And the winner of the playdown is heading to Calgary next month and the Scotties Tournament of Arts, the National Championship. Close. Close. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Jenna, Jenna. Nine, eight. 
mentioned the playdowns happening in New Brunswick, the Northwest Territories in Nova Scotia this weekend with Yukon's wrapping up last weekend and eight others starting next week. So a lot of eyes, I'm sure, on our coverage throughout the weekend as those provinces get set and ready to go next week. Little less. It was a fun time of the year, the evolution of not only the, the broadcast side of this, but we were talking last night, the streaming of all of the playdowns and the, the opportunity to watch all of this coverage from not only, you know, in your community, but other provinces. A little bit floaty. If you're light, that's okay. Good. There's still nothing quite like being in the arena to watch it live if you have the opportunity. And, uh, doesn't want to crow out there. Put it back a bit. Well, we're thinking about it. 50-50 draw, where every, where everybody's buying our own tickets. <laughs> we're up to 2150 already today. I think the biggest pot I saw for the week so far was just over 2,000. So apparently, once the work week's done, everybody's got time to log on to curlsask.ca, get their 50-50 tickets. Daily jackpots available. Head to the website and Curl Sask and get your tickets. At the end, I believe it gets drawn at 10 o'clock tonight. So we got lots of time to build that too. They have had some fairly big purses in the past. I do remember, and I think it was the very first year they did it. Okay. Uh, we were in Assiniboia, and they announced the prize like? winner. And they were going to do a front? check presentation, because as it turned out, she was in the building. Third. But she was timekeeping for that draw, and they were telling her to get out of the way. because oh, she, she was, I, I'll take, okay. they had the big check for her and everything, and she said, no, get out of my way. I'm trying to, I'm timing here. I'm volunteering. <laughs> I've got a job to do. And it was, was it not? Yeah. Like 10 grand or something? Oh, it was more than that. Was it? Yeah. It was that particular year, on that particular draw, I think, because the lottery yeah, license, the way it works, there's a yeah. maximum you can do, and that one maxed out. Now, I, and I don't want to say on the air what it was, because I might, I don't want to get the wrong number, but it was a big number. Guard, you got it! Well, that just got past the guard. Sorry. Bad throw. And on to the back one. Sorry, I, I should have, I needed to give her more time and not tell her the tolerance rate that she's feeling. Oh, that's okay. No. Okay. Yeah, that's Sorry, that was just straight through rather than out a little. Sorry, there. I maybe got in your head. Huh? I don't think so. Okay. Sorry. Wait, was close or would you like to see a little more? Not less. Wait, only? Fine's good. Where? Not bad. Like a good Hi. Yeah. Everybody is getting excited in here and they're refreshing the 50-50 and it just went up 20 bucks. It's not so. anything, guys. Oh. Um, Get your tickets. Yeah, I think girl, that was girl. Darren's 20 bucks, so <laughs> we already knew. Yep, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. the money he won on the goldfish going, races going, yesterday. That's right. Me and Ken had Mike, money on lane three. Way, Ken from Melody Motors yeah. in town, yeah. so. Do you want I know Ken. I didn't see him. I used to live yeah. in Melford. Okay. Like, he was in there, great supporter of amateur sports in our uh, province here at the Scotties. He was a big supporter of golf when I spent some time with Golf Saskatchewan. So, love to see the local communities embracing uh, amateur sports. So when you and Ken had money on lane three, did you win? <laughs> of course we did. Oh, <laughs> Just straight up or did you bet on the trifecta? Yes. How did, how did you <laughs> yeah, is it horse racing? Is it just... <laughs> the guard but trying to avoid the jam at the back okay. Okay. It is. and she will <laughs> breathing a little sigh of relief yeah. you never in doubt Great. <laughs> that was all you. <laughs> Michelle Engelot with the hammer here in six lying two right now getting set for skip stones Situation kind of dictates Jessica Mitch is going to have to try to play the double. She doesn't want to give up two. That means she can't roll under, and maybe the best she's looking at here is a blank. Yeah, she can't make the double and roll under, and if she yeah, just it rolls a, under, she's going to leave them shot at the back. She's got a guard. She'd love to have the chance to steal. It's just not shaping up like she's going to be able to play that shot. First shot for Jessica Nine. Mitchell. Nine. No, no, no. Clean. Whoa. Close. 
And we'll get them both. Good sweep them back there. I know you just hit the stick over here. We'll have a chance. Just no line call on that. We're just hit Yeah. So you heard Michelle say, we're just going to hit and stick out here. Hoping then they get get the chance for the blank. Yeah. I like that. And roll in just a smidge, hey? Just a smidge, yeah. That would be really nice. Yeah, we're not seeing it move with the weight. No, really. yeah, like, I agree. Looking at that ice. I would say weight's good though. It feels kind of gave up on your foot. Sure yes. okay. But it ended up working out okay. We got the nose. We just had to yeah, nice step. make the draw. Yeah. First from Stephanie Schmidt on the way. The hit and roll, so loses the shooter. I got it. Well, now Jessica has a chance to come around the guard, perhaps set up a steal. It's covering the edge of the button. Yeah. Which is why it was important for Stephanie to hit and stick out there. Yeah. It was a nice, uh, make it, make it good. nice shot like, psychologically for Jessica on her first so one as well not. because you mentioned at the start of the end so how many that she's had that have overcurled. Now, granted, okay. she threw a little more Let's weight on more that one than she it. has so far in the game, and maybe that yep. was in her mind as well. I keep overcurling. Let's throw it a little harder, but she makes the double, sticks her shooter on the corner, and now she gets an opportunity to try to steal. the very least, if she can dead bury this, Stephanie Schmidt will be forced to draw for one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Top Final whoa, shot whoa, whoa. Good. Top for right Jessica now. Mitchell. We don't leave room. Seven. There's a Seven. lot of woes room. when she let it Seven. go. Room. Where? Eight, eight, nine. Back eight. <gasps> eight, nine, but they're backing away. I think they're hoping it's eight, nine. Dig. Okay. It's going to hang on right in the back of the 12 foot. Buried, so I, I think that qualifies as annoyingly in. Yeah. <laughs> Just going to draw and take their one. Do you want to know what the time was? Doesn't matter. I think so. I guess it's good enough. Oh, we're drawing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, I don't think that's worth it. Okay. That's, that's fine. Yep. I was going to say, the further back it is, you'd at least have a better chance to get it, but she doesn't think it's worth the, you the risk. Yeah. Yeah, it's just when the score is up. When you're two up with, it's, it's not worth risking. You know, take your sure one, yeah. go three up. But you, you can't see it, so in order to make a play on it at all, you've got to play weight that's going to curl. Well, if you curl into the guard, you're giving up a steal one. If you curl up to the face of it, you're getting one anyway. Uh, you may as well just, if you're going to get stuck with one, you may as well play the draw. T. That's T another one where it's, there's a psychological nice. difference. You feel like you're nice. forced to one, so you draw for one. That's still a better feeling than nose hitting a we blank attempt. Yeah. In a tie game in the ninth, it'd be a different story. I, I, don't know if it, if I don't know if it would be, to be honest. But you know, there are teams that in a tie game in the ninth, Give they up. might throw this through. Right. Yeah. One on the board for Michelle Englund. They'll lead 5-2 in the tiebreaker here after yeah, like the sixth end of play. We head to the seventh here in Tisdale at the Viterra Scotties. This is it. It all comes down to this rock. The hours in the gym, the weeks away from my family. This is what I've been training for. And all those voices trying to tear me down. I'm here to silence them. We've given everything we have for a chance to get everything we want. 
Hi, I'm Shannon and we're here at the brand new Bike Tricks Electric Bike Showroom in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. It's grand opening, so we're gonna head inside and talk to some Bike Tricks customers. Let's go. I chose Bike Tricks because of the reputation. I know people who have Bike Tricks bikes and I know that it's a local company, which I like to support local. They're great bikes. Come down and see the team here. They're really a great team of people. Check out the bikes, go for a ride. important spot in the four-team playoff on the line this afternoon in Tisdale at the Saskatchewan Provincial Playdown, the Viterra Scotties. And Michelle Englott, a 5-2 lead after a single in sixth against Jessica Mitchell. It's Regina versus Saskatoon in this tiebreaker. Winner gets to meet Moosja and Penny Barker in the 3-4 playoff game later on tonight. We've got the province covered. Alrighty, okay, go for that 15. Good lines, two, three. Line's great. Beats nice. We're in a tiebreaker because in Pool B we had a three-way tie at three and two. The third team, unfortunately because of the head-to-head -head results, our defending champion Robin Silvernagel, PA, or of North Battleford. You're She's the odd team out. Yeah. I thought you were trying to find all the corners of the I was, province. I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> There's another look at those pool standings. And Skylar Ackerman, Nancy Martin will play in the one two page playoff and a trip to the final on the line in that one. That game will be our featured game tonight. Across the Sastel Max TV network, and you saw that three and two log jam on Pool B. We almost had a little bit of a log jam in Pool A, but Amber Holland dropped her game this morning that would have put her to three and two. Yeah, I would have had two uh, tiebreaker games on here right now. Bigger ad than your other one. Yeah, I got similar, but it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not getting heavier. Four five. Kaylin's good. Oh, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you've had good weight. Probably yeah. minimum yeah. line. Yeah. 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 Yep, keep it coming. Like, yeah. 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 Three. Hard. Yeah. Yep. Hard. Hard, you got it. Yep, 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 yep. Good sweep. Okay. Yep. I'm. This side might be nicer. Okay. What did you get on your call? Uh, I did. Got 16 on that one. All right, let's go. Let's try. I want to go. I think we're close here. Okay, lots of room. Stop, stay down. Ground, ground, just go away. Top eight. four. Top four. Still room. Take it away. A little heavy. Sliding. Want it to come down? Okay, guys, let's go back to. Yeah. yeah. It was just that go one back path. To controlling the front. Yeah. yeah, no, we know. It was that one path, though. I, oh, it's 14.5. Like, Michelle, like that 13 7. With nothing, with no touch, though. Like right I'm off. just eavesdropping oh, on uh, yeah, the Michelle slid the her same. first draw just behind yeah. the rings, slid the second one through, okay. said it's not okay. getting heavier. Now they slide oh, another one to the back of the 8 foot. Might be getting a little faster. <laughs> well, I think they had discussed and thought it was a little bit heavier. So, uh, yeah. thought themselves into believing it. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's why Michelle just said now, okay, let's go back to controlling the front and uh, it's not getting any heavier. Let it grind in there. Stay close, so stay close, stay close. I agree. Good. Worth it. 
hang out. Okay. Very similar, yeah. Hey, you know our girl, same thing. And Ashley Williamson in her Thanks ninth so provincial hey, Scotties here. I think champion I think in 2016 and the 2015 semifinalist. Right to it. Right to it. Great, wait. Need to wait. We need to curl? Yeah, we need, we need to curl. Wait, we're heavy. We're, we're, we're back. back 12. Yeah, they'd love to be able to sweep it for curl, but it, because it's a little heavy, you can't. Although well, I think that certainly came down. They were calling back 12 and uh, mm -hmm. I think just freeze well, it for now. Okay. I don't know. I, like, we're up three. We could have peeled. Yeah. Sorry. Same way. No, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice throw. Okay. I just thought I was more from the get go. Okay. I'll their guards. We have time to say that. Touchless, top four. As you see Jim walking back and really forth at the back, coach for Team Mitchell, is that because he's cold or is that because he's nervous? Yeah. Knowing Jim, I don't think he ever gets nervous, so I think it has to be the cold. <laughs> Trying to stay warm. Curl, curl, curl. I wondered because on the one Jessica Mitchell skip stone. And you were okay, asking okay, the book for the wow. maybe a timeout on the call. He just kept looking away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I can't watch. I thought it was. Don't little... make eye contact. <laughs> yeah, as I told you though, he doesn't yeah. want to have to be on mic. So he, <laughs> he told them they're not allowed to call timeout. Yeah, oh, that's right. You said that right at the beginning. Hey, don't look yeah. at me because we don't want to talk about a timeout. tell you a short little story and I'll tell you with no names except for Jim's because Jim was the coach but it was another team a number of years ago That's fine. and he wasn't really looking he was looking off at, at the other sheet because there was stuff going on and he looked back and his team was calling time out and he came out and he said peel the guard and then he walked back inside because he did he wasn't looking because he didn't think he should have had to to look he just assumed they would be peeling the guard should have been obvious yeah Five, four. yeah go line yeah Okay, line. line's not bad. Hard line. Gotta go. Five, Where are you? Five, six, five, six. To my broom. To my broom. Line's perfect. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Fifteen nine. There's a good shot, just like they drew it up. And I think I heard them say fifteen nine, so it's certainly not getting any heavier. Yes. Yep. Okay. Diana Yeah. It's sweet. Yeah. With only one game out there, it might be just a little bit cooler. A little bit cooler usually means the pebble will hold up just that little bit better. We have seen it, and that might be part of what's got them talked into it getting heavier, is that we have seen it get a little heavier in the middle through the week with all the sheets going. Yeah. Maybe just not doing that. Maybe Burn! what's happening is they didn't yeah. so much see that it was getting heavier whoa, as just whoa, thinking whoa. that, well, this is the time of the game when it's gotten heavier all week long. Okay, that works. Feels the one guard out. Was I just tight? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Tight. Tight three. Okay. I don't know how tight I was because we missed that by a long time. <laughs> So Jenna just looking at replacing the guard. Three. Three. One's good. Yeah. Yeah. Lead. Three. Lead. Yeah. Lead. One's good. Yeah. Three. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Tight. 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 I need to curl a bit. Stay close. Well, oh, did I freeze this? Oh, no. Curl. Tight. Yeah, finish a little. Just a little though. Oh, 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 oh. Good judge. Nice shot. Just to hear stuff. Places the guard. Jessica Mitchell lying two with the hammer here in seven. Skip stones coming. We gotta hit it to here so that it goes this nice. way. Good pair. Thanks. Really good pair, right? Okay. I gave yeah, you a clear and emphatic, a nice shot. Yeah. 
Looking at coming down, hitting this one onto this side of this one so that it goes on this side. Chances are they're still going to catch this one, but that would be ideal. Okay, you got it. Okay. There's a lot of yellows back there too that those reds can jam on. Please out here, guys. Okay. Little high, right where we're right on the okay. broom. Okay. Yeah. Well, she's got to be on broom side, right? Yeah. Here. Okay, guys. Just <laughs> got it. Let's get into it. Shows to go ya that when you're up, you don't like those rocks at the back of the tee line. They're just never your friend. Stephanie Schmidt throwing skip stones for Team Englot without the hammer here in seven. And her first here on the way. Steph yeah. likes these. She's good at them. Hard, 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 yeah. hard, yeah. hard, hard. Okay, okay. roll it up. And she'll just peel the guard. Okay. They called the sweep on right away. She might have been just a little bit tight, Real and tight. Uh, Sorry, it didn't matter how hard Michelle leaned. And boy, was she leaning in the house. She just couldn't get it back there. Yeah, and Michelle isn't that loud normally either. Quite emphatic. You know, she might use her voice a little bit more today. I noticed, and I thought it was interesting earlier on in the week, I saw her a couple of times calling the sweep calls, even on hits, using hand signals. Because with four sheets going out there, and we heard a few people talk about how it's hard to, to hear out there, and uh, she was using hand signals. Well, the only game out there, they can hear each other quite nicely this afternoon. Now the first from Jessica Mitchell. Big ad, because that was pretty light, I thought. Three. You're okay. Three. Tight, tight through right now. Okay, mine's okay. Pretty tight. Mine's okay. Just clean. Tight three. Three, four. Just clean for line. Line's good. Come on down. Really tight. Well, it's going to be in a To your broom. Well, line's Just fine. to your broom. Just line's to your fine. Room. Just to your broom. Line's fine. Nice judge, ladies. Sit. Good job. Nicely done. Yep, gets the job done. So from the big weight, the big weight peel that uh, Steph just threw. What do you guys like? Whatever you want to play, there's, you could do the double or the freeze. I jumped the gun a little. I just. Yeah, like we want to freeze to here. Yeah, I think it's the tee line. Assumed that they'd be playing this. I don't mind throwing it about again. Or it yeah, looks like I'm, they're going to play the I'm run again. And it's a tighter okay, run this time. Okay. I'm not sure you're drawn against okay. two here. You don't want to give up three very bad. If you miss the run back again, it's three. Yeah. Well, there's not there's a lot of room between them. You're, you're hoping too. you're going to pick one what of them like? at least. What do you want to see? What do you guys like? It's really whatever you're comfortable, Seth. Let's just call it time. I think it's just for the time. Like, I think it's up to you. Like, yeah. You're Actually, you, I'm doing either way. If you want to do the same shot, like, we'll take I a thought you look close on line, we just need a smidge more ice. No, I was just that much, much tight. tight. Yeah, I was just that much tight. Because, like, the double's close to the triple. Yeah. But it's whatever you're comfortable yeah, with. Yeah, I think we... Like, this is a really good path. We're here, so... Yeah. Yeah, this is a good path to yeah, here. Yeah, it is a good path, too. So we know that speed now. Let's, I like this. Okay, let's play it. Okay, let's do it then. You're going to make it. Okay. Interesting seeing Sarah think, Angling. Though? Okay. Almost controlling that conversation between yeah, her and Stephanie and Michelle. They've all been skips. They all have experience. Yeah, I agree. What I thought interesting at the end was Michelle actually made the call, and I thought it was going to be Steph that was going to say which one she wanted to throw. Yeah, I like this stuff. This we is just good. Threw it. Yeah. Yeah. Just threw it. Just threw it. Times now. Okay. Right to the broom. You got Let's it. go. Like you Really, for a shot like this, you're just thinking about making the double, and you heard Sarah say, if you make the double, it's awful close to making the triple anyway. Just try to run the first one back, catch the corner of the second one, and if you catch the third one, great. Oh. But if you just make the double, it's no worse than two this end. Final stone. Yep, yep, yep! Close for Stephanie Schmidt. One, two, three, she got them all! 
What a shot from Stephanie Schmidt, and there's the high five. Oh my god, it's Michelle. Steph has made a ton of posts oh this week. Got it. Nice shot. And somehow Maybe avoided all the yellows at the same time. Yeah, wow. look at yeah. that. Yeah. We gotta look at it again. Across the face, misses the one at the back eight. Actually touched the one at the back eight. And behind the one on the corner of the 12 foot. Just a hair more, hey? And so it'll be a shot for one for Jessica Mitchell. And it looks like that stone is in the top 12 foot. She's got to play across the center line. And not so long ago, it looked like she might have a chance at three. Yeah. Well, you just heard someone on the Inglot Tate say third time's the charm, and it was the third time they played uh, that run back. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought <laughs> had three tries at it. Jessica I might have there, preferred to put the guard just a little bit higher, but yeah, she had the line was perfect, so it still had to be made. I need a little, you have it right now. Not bad. Clean for backing. Yeah, for backing. Yep. Yep. I don't think yep. we need it. I don't think we need it. Okay. Okay. And it'll slow down in the forefoot. Enough for one. Nice job by Jessica Mitchell. She'll get her one. And we'll head to the eighth end here in the tiebreaker with Michelle Englott up five to three here at the Viterra Scotties. The triple puts on the force of one, and we go to eight. We know farming isn't an 8 to 5 business. That's why we want to give you the tools to do business anywhere, anytime. With MyViterra, you have a powerful tool at your fingertips to stay connected no matter where you are. Create online contracts, receive customized alerts, view your account information, and access grain prices in real time. Talk to your rep today and find out more about how you can harness the power of MyViterra, keeping you connected in real time. This is MyViterra. I look for challenge. I, I'm not the type that seeks out something simple, something easy. I want to mold future technologies, have a say in the way the world works. You're paving the way for the future when you're working with emerging technology. But when you see your own project succeed, it really does give you a great sense of accomplishment. Working at SASTEL as a recent grad is an incredible opportunity to be exposed to different technology, different people, different environments, as well as to grow your own career. We go to the eighth end, splendid shot making from Stephanie Schmidt. A triple takeout forcing Jessica Mitchell. Tough shot of her own though, on the draw, but just for one. So 5-3. Michelle Englott's rink leads heading to the eighth with the hammer here in this tiebreaker. Yeah, there's no doubt that was a great shot by Stephanie Schmidt, the run back double. Cleans everything out, but you know what? Kudos to uh, to Jessica for making that draw against four as well. It's it's a little demoralizing or a bit of a letdown when all of a sudden you think you're probably gonna get multiple and now you're drawing against four just for a single. I thought we might be into two center guard territory, but they're calling this into the rings. Line's good, close, close for line, five, six. Line's yeah, good. interesting, especially because that first one's tight. Could have thrown this one long. Well, yeah. So and we're in the eighth then. Two Line's down. Good. Close. Okay, let it work if you can. Stay close. Oh, Gonna six. have to be right to the T on this line. Whoa, you can also play the tip. Whoa, whoa. Six. Six. Yep. Line's yeah. great. No, I'm not. Whoa, whoa. 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 Whoa.
What do you like, Come Michelle? Up. Right down, top of the forefoot. Come here or here. You can. Let's play the tip. Just tap that okay. top one back. Like that. Yes, considering yeah. this one's not touching way. the center okay. line, you certainly yeah, can play the tick on this. Sure. Five more feet than you just three. Which would have been another reason yeah. why yeah. you would have thrown the long center guard. Nice pair. Perhaps, yeah. thinking but the problem with playing the rock in the rings is that Ten she's going to peel your center guard really? she's fine yeah. taking one are you really fine whoa, just whoa. giving her an easy one like you whoa. you want to make Please. them work whoa. Whoa. Yep. Yep. yep 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 good get enough of the forefoot you might make her play at it that double like the peel into it yeah you like that i sure do I think I'd like just to peel. Yeah, like that way? Yeah. Yeah. Feel what? Nice shot, go out. Nice shot, Megan. So just straight peel, but you can catch that one on the side, spill that as well. They're all in agreement. Everybody likes it. Ashley Williamson and <laughs> peels the guard. And that was just a jog down the ice for the two sweepers. Yeah. Could I? <laughs> <laughs> the Fitbit should count that. <laughs> not so much. <laughs> a little I'll leave that for that, but... <laughs> Does the Fitbit not count anyway. when you're sliding? I was going to say the sliding. <laughs> yeah. You lose about 30 <laughs> steps on the way down. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I'm not sure that it does. I think yeah, it works off it. the vibration. So if your slide is, if your slide's steady yeah. enough, it's not going to count. Yeah. The better you are at sliding, the smoother you are. Well, then how do you get your steps in? Yeah. <laughs> well, right, I four. find that what works well, is if you early. put four. it on the car tire while oh, you're driving okay. around town. Four or five. This line's not okay. <laughs> Got Coming down a bit. Three, four. Yeah, it looks four, like you're all right. Four. All there. Line only. Four. Four. Strap yours to the paw of the dog like an anklet. Yeah. There's a thought. And go around the yard. Well, you know what I have to tell you? I used to uh, ride horses and I'd have it on and uh, you, could, you could really get a lot of steps. 45,000 <laughs> steps <Tons>. today. <laughs> yep. Uh, my steps are done for the week. <laughs> Meet the coach. Yep. Well, certainly move yeah. things around. Great throw. Really nice. Really Another nice look job. at it. Could have got on it a bit earlier for you. Pardon? Could have gone on it a bit earlier for you. Okay. You know, does second shot. Does leave the shot rock a little bit better than what it was. It's got the button on the D line. Four. It's uh, that's the kind of stone you could guard and steal with. Okay. Five. Might have to finish your wagon. Try Trying. Curl and Trying. go. Curl and go. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, go, 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 go. Cross the line. Yep. Yep, yep. Gotta get in front of it. Nice. Good. Nice and job. they will. Good 
Sarah Anglin, who competed in the 2015 Canada Games what? representing Team Saskatchewan. Chance she might clip the red third shot. Hey girl. Like and that. she does. And roll away. Picks that out of there. Had a chance to go to the PEI Canada Games this past winter on the uh, media and communications team with Saskatchewan. Hannah Rugg representing Saskatchewan. The, the young Just junior skip in PEI, Summerside. Nice, what a beautiful part of our country. It was awesome. And Summerside where the uh, PEI Scotties Playdowns for the province is gonna take place next week. No, ah. too much line right now. Okay, curl. Yep, 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 curl and go. Yep, 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 yep. Gotta get this one over. Yep, yep, what a yep. Cold curling. Shot All right, go, go, the go, 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 go. Cold. <laughs> I remember that. Not quite so bad outside, but oh, chilly go. inside. Chilly inside. I see you over half. Now left yeah. fair bit of the back one exposed here, and on the side where there's no jam well, on know. the back I'm yellow. Like, I see a lot of it. Final third stones Lose. here in the eighth. Yep, low, yep. Wait, hard. Hard. hard, hard, to the board. Hard, 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 right up, hard, right up, right up. That's hard. Ashley Williamson. Hard. And will she roll it back for third shot? No, it'll stick around for second shot stone, but Michelle Langlot, line one, undercover. Yeah, sorry, I was the one that said I didn't think that that was possible. Well, not possible. I didn't think they were going to jam it that way and roll inside, but there's a good look at it. Pretty much buried. Yeah, do we, if we need to be, if we want to be shot here, I got to throw back four weight. Okay. I see that finishing in nice. Yeah. back four? I see it finishing nicer with the end. With the intern. Okay. Okay. We played this a few four? times. Yeah, it'll be back four to move okay. it. You know, it'd be got nice it. to be shot when you're done here, but I'm not sure that you need to be. If you just dead froze it, it is your own guard that you'd have a chance to run back. Yeah, but from what I hear them saying, I think they're uh, yeah. going to come in here well, and top this back. I think they think they well, can get to the nose with back four. four. I would like to move it behind the team. Oh, I, there you no say. doubt that's what they're thinking. The problem uh, no, that I, I have with it is you throw the little bit extra weight, and if you don't get the curl... You flop easier. out in the open. Yeah. It's more important to get the line here, and if that means you just freeze, that's absolutely fine on your first one. Skip stones in eight. I go a bit. A bit. Jessica Mitchell. Close for line. Should be close. Yep, yep got to go. Line. Gotta go line hard. Gotta go wait. Maybe to it. Really gotta go, guys. Really gotta go. Bounce it this off. This is diving. Bounce it off. Uh, it's well short. Oh. Ah. Uh, did she leave herself a port for her last one? I think she did. I think she did. Every time I feel like I'm just setting Depends it if this one over yeah, curls. Like um, yep. Looking okay. like they're playing to come yeah, around if we, here. If we just get a corner. We've and if they can tiny, just yeah, get a tiny yeah. bit out on okay. this side, there'll be no hole. You got us, Steph. Yeah. We're... That looks good. Maybe just a bit. Uh, this is certainly what uh, yeah, this be good. Sean was looking at. Do you like that ice? They left a hole I through there with up. her last. Yeah, you're not seeing the, the massive front. swing. Yeah. I was going to say, when you get into the forefoot area, then it comes. Okay. So... Okay, I can be right to her. Yeah, no, this is great. Stuff. That's I a like really good look well. at it. And with last rock, you're not yeah. really going to throw a center line guard with your last yeah. one, so you yeah. come yeah. around and. Okay. So she does. She needs to overbury nice. mm -hmm. the to guard. take the hole away. Just a sliver. Doesn't need to be very much. Yep. First of two skip stones for Stephanie Schmidt. We don't need to. Top, back four. 
Right off of it. Back four is not what you want. Back four. No, that's no, not no, where no, they no, want no, to be. Back eight. No, 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 no. Coming down a bit. We're really trying. See? Back four. Right back to here, sir. So it'll slow down, end up in the back four, touching the eight. Sorry, guys. No, I'm that's all right. Yeah. yeah, that's okay, Steph. Yeah. And after you get through that port, a nine here. doubles there. You probably make Maybe. the double yeah. if you're making the port, yeah. Line is perfect. yeah. Get all three. Not and that. it's going in that this direction. You might. The third Everything one's not going to matter because you're already going to be sitting two. Unless you happen to dead jam it. It's actually probably possible if it if it finishes a little bit after it's through the hole, you might miss the second one, but if you do that, you're probably rolling under cover. That's not a bad result either. Final stone from Jessica Mitchell here in eight. For nine. Whoa. Trying to get through the port. Needing it to curl and it'll jam and open things up and that'll open up a draw for three or a tap for four. A tap for four, but you'd have to come dangerously close to your own. I don't think they're going to take the chance. Similar, little off. Yeah. That's right. It's there though. That's a good look at it from that camera angle. She could probably see half of the back stone. Is that a 30? Or was it a little bit more than that? I got a little more, but so I think a 30 is probably a two. Yeah. yeah. Very similar to, like that 25 is really close as well. Okay, that's what you threw on that. Okay. Yep, 30, let's go. Final stone here in eight. And Stephanie Schmidt okay, and Team Englot curling out of the Highland Curling Club in Regina. Where are you? Back eight. Go to the back one then. Yep. yep. Go to the back one. We're, We're not there. there. We're not there. We're not there. Back We're saying it's a little warm, so Michelle's moved back to look at the line, and they might be able to get to that back one. Okay. No, nope, doesn't have to wait for that. So there they are, three yellows in the forefoot. And they'll take an 8-3 lead. I into the ninth. Everything from down there. Sorry. The tiebreaker is on here at the high or the Tisdale Recplex, the Viterra Scotties. Hi, this is Dustin Keltoff with Saskatoon Auto Connection. Did you know we've moved to a massive new location in Sutherland? Let me show you around. We've combined sales, service, glass, and detailing into one automotive superstore. Whether you want to fix, maintain, or spruce up your ride, or trade it in for something fresh, we've got the team, the services, the inventory, and the financing to help you with any of your automotive needs. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. At PharmaSave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your PharmaSave pharmacist. Live well with PharmaSave. Big end for Michelle Englott, three with the hammer. Yeah, good hack in the eighth, we play the ninth now. Eight, three, Michelle Englott's rink out of the Highland Curling Club in Regina with the lead. In this tiebreaker on Saturday afternoon, the winner 
into tonight's quarterfinal against Penny Barker. A boost yeah. job. We'll have the one-two page game for you tonight, too. That will be our featured game. Nancy Martin and Skylar Ackerman. Stephanie Schmidt was getting ready to throw that final stone. I did hear Jessica Mitchell, the talking group team, saying take three, steal two. So they know what they know what they have to do here. I'm not going to go so far as to call it a plan. <laughs> take three, steal two, and then steal one. Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> But you do have to break it down, I would think, into small chunks like that. Okay, we need to take three. It's not easy, but it's doable. We need to steal two. Not easy, but it's happened before. Yeah. Right? You take it one piece at a time. Yeah, whereas if you'd have gotten yourself into a spot where you needed to, for instance, have to score four with the hammer one in, well, now it's probably outside the realistic realm. Uh, I'm trying to keep this around. It's going to fall out, so it'll get replaced. Violation of the free guard zone. Yeah, and and you see that attempt made more and more now since the uh, the doubles game. It's become a popular way with the power play. You start off on the side, and uh, it only happens once a game. You'll see teams have decided the easiest way to tick that guard is to try to push it into the rings, or you can hit it on the next one. Michelle played a lot of doubles with her uh, son the last couple of years. So. I'm sure she's tried that shot before. Well, it's a good opportunity to ask the question and, and talk about it for those watching at home. When you play the mixed doubles game, you get one on the button, one center guard all the time until you have the power play, which is you move everything to the corner. What makes the corner such a bigger advantage than having things on the middle? Well, it's the same situation as you're playing in this end. If you're worried about trying to score two without giving up a steal, well, now the fact that everything has started off off the center line Pretty risk free. You always know you're going to have the middle to take your one, and there's a chance that you can establish something on the corner. Maybe you get two, three. The, the uh, doubles game is is all built around offense. So with only playing with six rocks, sixes in doubles are a whole lot more frequent than eights in the eight rock. You'll see you'll see sixes scored at nationals every year. Yeah. When you're getting to be more aggressive with that power play, it takes the risk away. Lets you be more. Takes the risk away for sure. Yeah. Yeah. In this case, though, uh, drawn to take your one is not going to help them much at the end. No, no. Well, you're hoping that draws for the extra point, but... <laughs> yeah! Hard. Oh! Well, I have to admit, while we were talking about that, I missed the call. I can't... She's thinking about getting three here. I can't imagine she wanted that rock in the rings very bad. Oh, Michelle, oh! That's going to be really close to hanging around. <laughs> well, it's it stayed it's in play, it so it's legal. Right. It's not a violation of the free guard zone. Just a little. But when you think about where you might get extra points later on in the end, it might be annoyingly in. Yes. Five, five, six. One's good. It's really. Five, six. We're across the sheet from it. Of course, you can see a lot of white from here. But even from the overhead, it was a thin stripe of white. I, I don't know. And nobody indicated, of course. No. It's not going to matter for a little bit yet. This might be one end where every time somebody comes down and has to sweep on that side, they're going to go take a look at that rock and, and see if they think it's in. It is that close. I guess we could peel this well, way. Well, when you're five down, there. obviously I'd rather be in than out. <laughs> Looking at playing the corner peel here. There's a double there. One Running it into something in the yeah. rings as well as rolling out. Nice and clean. Ashley Williamson. Sneaky back. Close, close. Out of garage. Out of garage. And on to one in the back. And into Jam the bumper. kept her own there, but got rid of two red ones. Well, it, on the one hand, you don't want your own rock at the back. On the other hand, it's better that one than the other one, which was the other teams. 
and you are shot rock, so at some point in time, Jessica Mitchell's going to have to deal with that. Three. She could leave a double back there. One's good. Oh, no. I need to curl a hair. Three. And then look at your elbow. One should be good if we're oh, yeah. a three. Three. Two, three. A little shorter. Two and a half, three. Well, we're curling a little. Good. Just a straight peel, sir. Hit. Okay, sir. I saw Michelle look over her shoulder, but she did say straight peel. Yep. I'm not sure whether this yep. is one where she's actually playing. Hard. I wouldn't mind touching that one on the way by. Oh, oh good <laughs> catch. I didn't almost snap her. If that even hit it a touch, might have put it in. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. You put it back to where you think it's supposed to be, but, but uh, you're saying if it boards. touched it, but some it people hit the don't know if they think it's in or out. Well, well, that's just it. When the two teams haven't really agreed, not even everybody's looked at it yet. I don't think. Right. Little wider line. And it's not here. something you can measure. Not until the end of the end, curl anyway. For high. Yep, curl. Yeah, that ended up being a pretty big save. Yep, yeah. Keep it going. Yep. Yep. Okay, okay, good. Nice spot. Yep. Yeah. This way. Same throw. And yeah. the boards have okay. some cushion in them, so that's also helped too. Yeah, you will see some uh, some players yeah. at the Briar. The Scotties hit it hard enough that it doesn't actually bounce yeah. back. It just goes <laughs> over the boards. Yeah. Right hard. over. Hard. Down on, roll, 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 and right through. Okay, yeah, that leaves the center guard. Uh, it really shoot. doesn't matter where it is, it leaves a guard. Okay. You need to leave yourself a way to get to that back yellow eventually, so yeah, it does sorry. influence which turn you're going to play to come around. that top four okay can I throw the same turn sure a touch more than not much more managing to uh, give them two 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 yeah, yeah a couple feet okay feet. okay yeah a couple feet more <coughs> just keep it to keep it to two maps mine's good Final third stone on the way here in the ninth. Oh, you missed your chance. It's the last hope stone of the end. <laughs> one's good, one's good. Six, ten, seven. If she was the skip, I don't know if I'd be able to call the game. Seven, seven. One's good. <laughs> Just past your bridge. Two lines. Too deep, too deep. It's going to okay. fall in behind okay. the T line. The forefoot. Well, and it's out the other side, too. There you get a good look at it. But it is it. on the side where if she goes after it, she could jam it. You jam it and roll out, and, and three really oh, is good. in play. Good. the line. Good wait. Make them think anyway. Probably half with that. You can get your nose easy. I was going to say, I think you can hold it there pretty good. Says yeah, the person yeah, that's not throwing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's always the one who says you can get to the nose easy. Yes. That's what it feels like, yeah. But that is what they're playing. Skip Stones now here in nine with Stephanie Schmidt. Big. Had a wonderful afternoon. Yeah. Her Sarah. first on the way. Yeah. Hard, Sarah. Big. Yeah, Hard, Sarah. Sarah. Yes. Hard, Sarah. Yes. Big. Keep Hard. Going. Hard. Keep Sarah going. Anglin. Hard, Sarah. Whoa. 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 Ah. Pass the guard. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Good. And on to Shot Stone. <laughs> Managed it well. The one at the back. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. I think a little more weight than what they were maybe looking for. 
Michelle. Good call, Michelle. That done well? Michelle, did you get one? No. Probably. Yeah, Ingot sitting two. We want to actually move that now, so we're sitting two, but it probably doesn't matter because she'll just hit that over. Yeah, so yeah our shooter will roll, roll over to a double over there. And she'll make this it. One. Well, <clears throat> like if you go for this, your shooter is going to roll to there at least. And then that'll be a double you back. Bump her. it back. You ever played just a bump on it? Bump it back? Yep, yeah. Just wondering if there's a three in the mix here, but I don't see yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, that means to me that they think that rock's out. Just back four. Same kind of thing I threw in like the yep. third end. Okay. Yep. That rocks over a bit, so make sure we get inside. Yep. Heavy draw. to get the shooter under. Yeah. yeah. Wait, it's holding up? Yeah. yeah. What are you throwing here? Back four. Okay. Jessica Mitchell with her first. Okay, I'm good right now. Whoa, room right now. Whoa, really hanging. Curl it, curl it. Megan Ferricks. Hard, Megan. Hard, Megan. Hard, Megan. Trying to get some curl on it. Move it over. Okay, on the yellow. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. It'll sit right back on top of that yellow stone. There's a good look at it. You can see that uh, Heavy. Stephanie can see a whole lot more yeah, this time. Right. Straight nose, and she's got the slash, but she needs to hang around. And it, it probably yeah. jams. Yeah. Do you just want to tend, Michelle? Just right on the nose? Yeah. yeah. Like you, or what are you thinking? I guess I just threw it. Do you just want a bit more than what I just gave just you? Just a bit more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. Just. Uh, a little bit more weight. Yeah, just I like that. Okay. So looking to put this on the nose. Chance you get them both? Chance you get them both. You play for the nose hit, you'd be sitting three, and I'm not sure the triple does them any good because you'd have to roll out to make it. And if it curls just a little bit past the nose, you clip the other one on the way by. You make the double. Jessica Mitchell might not even throw her last stone. But you're not thinking of that. You're thinking of just making the the nose hit because that's the one that it's a safe shot. There's no risk. Ten. Ten. So you don't want to throw yeah, any kind of up weight and risk Ten. jamming it. Close. Final Go. stone curl. for Stephanie curl. Schmidt. Got a curl. Here in nine. Close. Curl. Ten. Just clean. Curl. Just clean. Good, good, good. And gets the nose hit. So it draw for one. Any I'd anything we're just losing the shooter, hey? Unless we happen to catch it on that. What do you see to try and get more than one? Well, if I hit it here to get two, because you can't give up a steal. No, and, and one doesn't make any difference. You score one, you're kicking them down anyway. I'm just wondering if you play the triple, does your shooter come into that red on the side? Well. It's close, so, you know, you're looking at a 90 degree angle. Oh, she is. Okay. It's, a, it's a thin it's hit fun. to like make it all go. Would your shooter catch on this one though? That's what I'm wondering. That's what Probably I'm wondering not. too. If you come in here, make contact, drive this one here. That goes out. Well, that one's going that way. You're hoping it clips the back one. And could you it? stick your shooter right there no. and get two? The only so other thing I'm seeing, it and it would here. be tough, but it's probably there as well, is if you could come down, do the paper thin on that one, 
and have the shooter redirect that way. And that's probably physically possible as well, but it's really tough. Which one would you rather shoot, the triple or that thin I'd double? I'd rather have my opposition throwing it, honestly. <laughs> we go. But you can't draw. You've got to take I, one of those two shots. If i got to pick one of those two, I'm probably trying the triple. I mean, you can get all three, but I don't think you're shooting. Because I think the angle's there. You have to hit there. it too thin. You have to hit it too thin. But it'd be spectacular. The, 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 uh, chance the, the slash one. triple, yeah. The chance to jam on the red rock that's just maybe biting the 12. A little bit easier than the, trying to, to hit it paper thin. You might not even hit it the, the way I was looking at first. It might be easier to hit it over that's the top the and try to get them all the spilling that way. Top then, and yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's over the top, but then does this? Then this one doesn't go. It's just gonna come here and spin there. But it only has to spin to there. Exactly. Yeah, it doesn't have to spin very far. And when you're coming from that angle, it's gonna pick up a little bit of spin, a little bit of action. So. But because of that, you do have to hit a lot of that stone because you got to hold your shooter for your second point. Especially if that one that's spilling off the top isn't going very far. You have to keep it in the 8-foot. Uh, your shooter. Well, I, th I think it's going to spin a little farther than, than what they think. What kind of weight are you throwing? Nine. Well, I've got to throw harder than that. You've got to throw harder than that, but yeah. Throw to honestly. Yeah. Yeah, a little more. Yeah. We're just when you're coming across the top of a rock like that, when you, you hit it, it's going to pick up some spin, and you're going to get a gear line. effect yeah. where it'll yeah. spin off the one behind it a little so bit as well. Across the top, then. So we're playing across the top. We're going to hit the one to it, though. So no point. Or are we playing it? It she might be good to make a decision <laughs> which way, <laughs> way you're playing it. Their front end is asking <laughs> Jenna, and I don't think they got an answer. Your skip's already in the hack. But they are playing the triple. Nine? Yeah. Okay. Trying to stick their own shooter on the annoyingly out rock. Trying to pick up two with the final stone here in nine. Nine? Yep. Yep. And Jessica Mitchell out of the oh. Nutana oh. Curling Club yep. in Saskatoon. Yep, 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 yep. 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 One on to two, but won't hold the shooter. Oh, oh. And won't push the other one in far enough. One red, yeah. I think she got one. She'll count one. One red. <laughs> I think we're good, hey? <laughs> Probably shake us there. And they'll have a quick discussion. And, <laughs> and Jessica Mitchell's going to shake hands. Eight to four. The final here in the tiebreaker. So Michelle Englund and her rink out of the Highland Curling Club in Regina. They've won four in a row and they're on their way to the playoff. They had another very solid effort and that's the thing. Uh, after two losses, they've had nothing but solid efforts. And actually when uh, Kim was talking to Michelle, she mentioned even in the two losses they had, they were playing well. You know, there's always another team on the ice. Sometimes just because you play well doesn't mean you're going to win. Uh, there's all These are all good curlers out here. They're good teams. You can play well and still lose a game from time to time. They're on a roll now. That's one of the nice things. That might be a bit of an advantage in having to play the tiebreaker that when they go on the ice tonight, they've already played one today. They've got a bit of a role. The other two teams did get to practice, but it's not the same as, as getting a game under your belt earlier in the day. I think Michelle Englott's getting a little sick of these conversations with Kim, but that means she keeps winning, Kim. That's right. She doesn't want to talk to me, but that means you win, so you should be happy to talk to me. I know. I know. Much better showing today. What a great solid effort. Very well played. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, we did a total regroup after last night's game, and, uh, you know, it definitely came out firing on all cylinders today, so that was good. 
Yeah, and I do have to say, you have to give kudos to Steph. There were some pretty big shots that she made there, too. Oh, yeah, like she, I have full confidence in, in her that she can make any of those runbacks, right? So I just sometimes need to make her make the decision a little bit quicker. <laughs> I noticed that you were the one that actually said, no, let's play this yeah. run back this time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, on a bit of a personal note, it's very nice to see your mom here. I saw her oh, up in the stands. Oh, yeah, you know what? She has not missed a provincial, and so... Um, I'm, I'm super excited that that uh, my son went and picked her up from the care home in Wolseley and and brought her today. So yeah, she's it's uh, she enjoys it. And not only that, hopefully she's here to see a lot more. Yeah. This game tonight, maybe tomorrow and tomorrow. Yeah, a few more games, hopefully. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Well yeah. done, you guys. Thank you. Michelle Englott and her rink out of the Highland Curling Club in Regina. They're off to the playoff, and they'll meet Penny Barker of Moose Jaw in the. 3-4 page playoff game tonight. Our featured action tonight across the Sastel TV network will be Nancy Martin and Skylar Ackerman in the 1-2 game. The winner off to Sunday's final. Until then tonight, for everybody here at RealCast Media, I'm Darren Dupont. Thanks for watching our tiebreaker. The playoffs are next.
we dug really deep this year. We really wanted to get to the tier two out in Niagara. So we went early this year and uh, dug, went to a lot of events. So we played a lot this year. We're really good friends on and off the ice, so we're always having fun together, which I think makes it easier to curl together because we enjoy being out there. We have really good communication style. Um, we're all really committed and competitive and we like to win. We dug really deep this year. We really wanted to get to the tier two out in Niagara. So we went early this year and uh, dug, went to a lot of events. So we played a lot this year. We're really good friends on and off the ice. So we're always having fun together, which I think makes it easier to curl together because we enjoy being out there. We have really good communication style. Um, we're all really committed and competitive and we like to win.